I was going to say, if you want to text whomever, just let them know. Now it should pop up. Or Oomst. within within Oomst. a couple of seconds, it should pop up. On the, uh, Did you know people think that you're more uh, intelligent when you say whomst in a sentence? You know, How do you probably use whomst? Whomst mans is this. Good question. <laughs> whomst. Hula hoomst. Hoomst thought it was a good idea to go down on that submarine. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> and copper. Or whatever. Who, who thought, hey, this is my dad. Bad. Shouts to Gus. Big shouts to Gus. Big shouts to Gus. Number one every time. He's the two-time reigning champ. Um, What's up, guys? So what does hoomst mean, and does it matter if it's not a real word? Simply put, it is an elevated slash silly version of whom, the object formed of who. Hoomst is used ironically in situations where the person is pretending to sound formal. <laughs> yeah, okay, Chuck Hoomst. Yeah. Or Dalla Hoomst, Dalla Gasolina, or whatever that song is. <laughs> I'm trying to, like I said, the submarine. The thing? Yeah, yeah not a good it. idea. Not a good look for that company overall. I'm it's, sure it was a beautiful look. Uh, now they're not coming back. I don't know. I don't it's know. It's the perfect example of, like, money can't buy intelligence. Yeah. Yeah, or money blows right past any thought of intelligence. Yeah. So like, especially when multiple entities are saying, "Hey, not a good idea." You think they signed Probably the waiver? That. They had to have. Because are the family waiver going to do? It? <laughs> are the families going to sue? Because is there but somebody who's controlling I think the, the money now? I think the owner is on the submarine. Well, somebody's got the money. And they're going to be like, hey, I you have know. to it's give that back to the families. And I, all I can think of is the Dave Chappelle skit where he's like, no. What, <laughs> what is it called? Not escrow. What the hell is it called? When a escrow. Third, is it escrow? When a third party holds the? Yeah. 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 So there's Unless an escrow it's just company. In the company's bank account and one of the wives or a co-partner has said money. And yeah. they're just like, <laughs> they're on the news. <laughs> they're like, my friend. They're like dabbing their eyes with hot thousands. Yeah. My friends are at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. I saw a bunch of memes already, though. Imagine memes. flying inside that thing. Yeah. yeah. It's like memes really? today in that submarine have been fired, man. Just, the memes have been great. It's been, it's it's been uh, wild. Yeah, it's 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 pretty special. Did you see the, uh, the stepson out there trying to get ladies? He goes to a Blink-182 car. His, like, stepfather's on the submarine. And like that day, he's posting that he's at a Blink One Eight Two concert. <laughs> not that. And then the next stuck. day, yeah, nothing to do with his dad. And then I think he actually did he not know. No, he knew. I think he actually posted. And I'm not kidding. Maybe this is fake, but at least it got me on Twitter. Actually posted like, my family would want me to be at this Blink One Eighty Two concert. Stop <laughs> it! Stop, <laughs> it. Stop, Dude, it. Stop, stop it! Stop! Stop! I'm pretty sure. Uh, son of submarine. Oh, they said in an article you signed like three waivers with lawyers. See, Tim Connor studies on it, man. Yes. So listen, it, it costs a quarter million dollars a seat. There's no way they're signing like the waiver I sign when I go to Lock City. Like it's, it's <laughs> they, get a, they get they yeah. get a badge. Yeah, you're, they get the. the yeah, little, you're no, what, what I'm saying is they the signed Tyvek wristband. They signed a bunch of paperwork clearly stating if you die, no one's getting this money back. Literally, yeah, yeah straight no to jail. One. Yeah, believe it or not, <laughs> straight yeah, to yeah. jail. Oh my God! It's here's an article right here from the Independent, whatever that is. <clears throat> but at the bottom, in quotes, it might be distasteful being here, but my family would want me to be at the Blink One Eighty Two show oh as it's my favorite band and music helps me in difficult times. <laughs> hey, you know what? Yeah, but you know what though? It's not like he was going to find it, brother. You, <laughs> That's true. Here's the deal though: you could have just suffered in silence. Not everything needs to be posted. <laughs> right? To he doesn't page. need to. Right? You don't need to let you everybody know. You could have had there. fun there, and no one. Needed you didn't to need know. to tweet it. Yeah. He could right, have just, exactly. Like, if he really felt like he had to, he could have said Blink One Eighty Two was sick, and it could have waited after the fact. Right. After the fact. Like, right. Nobody the, knows what a show he attended or what day you know or what time. Mean? Right. Right. Now they do. But he also tweeted not long after, hey, ladies, I'm single. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. yeah, same dude. Yep, yep, same dude out so, there just you know trying what? to. It sounds like he's got the money. It's he's got it's inheritance. It sounds maybe like he's he knows. got the inheritance. Yep. Yeah, maybe he knows what's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, what, is, there, is there a status in the chat? Are Congratulations. They... Yeah, so, like, uh, this vehicle is experimental and uncertified by any authority. I mean, yeah, when sure. I saw the video of the little, like, Logitech controller. Oh, oh yeah, I was like, come it's on, a, it's a GameCube it's controller, a but it's, it's a, a third-party one, like Mad Cat's Xbox yeah. controller. Shook your yeah, question. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I figured it out. I'm I was sorry. like, what do you mean, dude? He's Thanks, wondering. Dude. He's wondering why they're saying congrats. I'm like, I didn't do anything, dude. 
And well, then I'm well, like, oh, I did something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, if you feel comfortable and you want to speak yeah, to that I later, we'll talk I about that. Mind. There's nothing uh, I'm uncomfortable doing, buddy. So that's, yeah. yeah. Except for eating corn the long way. Uh, toilet in that <laughs> thing. I just, that, none of it's good. None yeah. of it's good at all. Didn't recover my cat. The toilet situation? Yeah. In the submarine, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're fucking. Oh, oh no, we're good. No, we're good. Yeah. We're How okay. long have they been down there? Four days. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah. Yeah, probably. How much oxygen could they possibly have? I think like times. I think as of this morning, they had twelve they hours could possibly left. stretch it to like ninety. Yeah, it was like ninety days. Uh, ni- ninety, 90 hours. hours. Yeah, 90 hours. and the thing I seen was like that's if they're all practicing shallow breaths. Yeah. Like, hey, look, let's not talk and just breathe. Like, hey, we're lost, but don't panic. Right, yeah. exactly. Just be as calm as possible. So wait, so okay, wait. I don't know anything about it. Did they lose control and then it just hit the ground? They don't know. <laughs> oh, you know what it was? The, the controller disconnected. <laughs> That's what it was. I bet you. It got the red ring of death. I, yep. <laughs> <laughs> wrap it in a towel. Yeah, wrap it in yeah, a towel. Exactly. I'm so happy you said that. Or Why? The, Nobody should or the, that. They had to take out the cartridge, the blow in it, and move it sideways, and then put it back uh, in. You know, how, you know why that worked? Do you know why? Yeah, the, uh, the thermal paste. Uh, this, fucking, this guy's a smart guy. He is. Well, well yeah, that's how, how they get no into... Idea, yeah. I have no idea how much money I made fixing those things. Yeah? Yeah, take them apart. Take a little, little bridge brace make sure, it. Make sure you just get paste. right on the mic. Yeah, take them apart. Take you them know what's funny? Bridge and then thermal paste it and put it back together. At my friend Kyle's, I, t- I took it completely apart, and I just kept putting toothpaste in it. It'll work? It'll work for a while. It just gets dry. I'm like, if you just buy $6 thermal paste, I yeah. won't have to do this again. So Why we, did you buy it and charge him 12 Cause I, I was just, he was living at my house. I was just like, dude, I can't stand you not playing games. Just play the games. <laughs> but yeah, it was like in pieces. I could like pull shit apart and then just paste it and just stick it all back together. Like his dish tray. I didn't even hook it up. I would, oh, he'd pull it open, put the disc in it and shove it shut. <laughs> and they were eating. <laughs> yeah. Ian, it in Ian in the chat. Yeah. He makes a good point. If they did find the sub in time and it surfaced. It can it like needs to be unbolted, seventeen bolts from the outside. Yeah. So like if they got the, the worst, oh my god, I can't even imagine. Yeah, they're they're you're pretty just much on the surface of the water waste. and you see it and like now you're just lost. And that's the other thing too. They don't know if it's on the surface, which maybe not likely, or if it's down below, stuck on something. What if they're Negladon. just on home? <laughs> or God's delayed them. They went to the Blink One Eighty Two show they and just haven't also, posted about it yet. So okay, so they disappeared no one knows how or why correct okay so the controller probably broke because nobody updated the drivers for a 20 year old all communication was lost uh i think at some point the only communication they had was via text but obviously that That deep that disappeared yeah 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 exactly that's crazy so and the only way to get out is if they surfaced got pulled up by the boat and unbolted well but i don't know the the ins and outs but i assume the trip Right was now, probably only scheduled for, you know. One way. Or just like a few hours. Yeah, and you go right back up. Like, it has 90 hours worth of air, but that's not. Yeah, they were oh, like, we're going to push it to 75. Air. Right, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. And then you hear the <laughs> deet, 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 yeah. like it, in the final minutes. It sucks, you know, like, again, it's still humans on there, so it's like, yeah, that sucks. Nah, dude, natural but, selection, uh, fuck them. But at the same time, no, like, come on. Em. I just, just like, it's, it's pretty... No, wait, what are you doing? You're going to bolt yourself into this thing. I said, I said, you could take all their combined wealth and be like, listen, you can have it, but you have to go down there in this thing. Not a chance. Yeah, no, I wouldn't. Not I would. a chance. Uh, I heard on the radio today. What is that noise? Is that? Oh, oh, okay. I was just wondering. What, it's my yeah, it's breaking. I, so did you see the picture of where it's like, where oh, the Titanic yeah. was, where it landed? And then it's like buildings for scale. It's like Empire State, State Building's this big and the yeah. picture's like this. Yeah. Hey, do you know and how the, far down the Titanic is? Two miles. So, so 2.4. How, how deep was it? 2.4 so far, miles. Yeah, wow. If this, okay, if my phone is the ocean, the Titanic is here and the Empire State Building was only like up to here. That's crazy. And the obviously this is the surface. Wow. So I was like looking at it, I'm like, yeah, they're fucking dead. The, uh, I clocked out 2.4 miles in my car today. That's a long time. And I'm just like, that's fucking deep. I live yeah. closer like than deep. that. You do. <laughs> you do. You From here, I live closer than serious? dead yeah. serious. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it might even be here and back. So they've been down there for four days. Yeah. I no think food. Exactly I think since think Friday-ish. It. Somebody definitely had to shit by now. Oh, <laughs> oh dude. <laughs> Yeah. That's the wor- that's the least of the problems. 
they're well, they're, no, I mean, that's like the worst way to go. I mean, you have to, you're going to suffocate and then you have to smell poop. Worst way to go is to be the last one. Yeah. When do you, yeah. At least they're not human centipeded. That would be worst case scenario. That, yeah. That I just, let me tell you, that was all. When the, weird. when the guy turned around and he said, I'm sorry, and then he shit in her mouth, I <laughs> felt for that. I felt <laughs> for both sides of that party. I can't believe they made more than one series. The second one, we talked about it last yeah. episode. Yeah. yeah. It's the best one. It's I, I can't believe like somebody would come up with that. Like, hey, let's make some money. Let's make, I got a, a great idea for a movie. And like, who said, yeah, let's go with it. Did you see two? <laughs> no. I have to, I, one was enough. You got to watch two. <laughs> the premise. One was enough. Premise is pretty Think much the one, same. but way bigger. <laughs> more centipedes? So long. And a baby. Oh, and a baby dies. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. I'm not going to ruin it. And I, already, we I did, ruined it last, did last episode. Time. I'm not watching it. I don't really want to explain it. I'll tell you after the show. Oh, my God. Toilet is only separated by cur- curtain, according to the news. Oh, so they could flush it so out? You can hear the battleships. Now. I don't think they could flush it out, no. I think this is, might be a, a plastic, sani- a sani can? plastic like camping poop in a bag situation. Kind of like when my dog shits and she puts it in a bag. Right. All right. I'm saying is, if that would be my worst scenario. Because I scoop my cat shit sometimes, and I'm literally throwing up almost <laughs> into my throat. I got to eat John Doberman. You just see the smell of this thing, guys. I can't. Scooping your own? Bro. No, nah, I couldn't do it. It's just not. Dude, I, c- I couldn't even fathom how bad my shit. Because I sometimes I stand up, and I'm like, God damn. My daughter pooped on the floor once. On the floor? That was pretty gross. Who picked it up, though? I think I did. I can't recall. I honestly can't recall. You would, I would recall. I recall till the day I died. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Brett scoops 99. Definitely Josh. Yeah. Yeah. 99.9% of the cat shits, and the 1.1% that I do, as soon as that shovel touches the litter and I get it up to get in the bag, I'm like, <laughs> like it's coming up. It's like old jackass where they're like, Ugh! like that kind of throwing up. You probably invest in that, that cat litter box that cleans itself. The one that spins, it's worth, yeah. It, it washes it. It actually cleans the poop. It rotates, it yeah. Puts, it washes it, and then. You're talking about the one you hook up to your toilet? Yes. Yeah, I've yeah. Seen that I've seen oh, that. Wow, we don't have wild. room, but yeah, it takes a poop 400 it, bucks. It yeah. It washes it, it, it like breaks well, it down it. in the water. Yeah. And then it pumps it into the toilet and, and it dries the Oh my the God. I want that for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah fuck, can I get that in Boudet? <laughs> Human poop on water is shocking. Oh my God. Yeah. That's, it's like the worst. I've it literally sc- is the I've worst. I scooped my own once. <laughs> you know <laughs> Dude, when you take a shit and just like the top of it sticking out of the water. That's a Loch Ness Monster. It's fucking. Yeah. It's messy. It's fucking putrid. Yeah, that's yeah, it's not good. It's gross. That's the best word. I'm sure dying a dead body would smell better. Oh, Unless it shit itself. Then in that case. Probably, probably did. I'll just keep going. Poopery works. Poopery does work. But yeah, it creates that oil. That, that yeah. pepper yeah. lemon. That pepper don't, lemon. Don't work water for me. She goes, use this. Yeah, I always okay. forget. I always forget. I take the shit and it smells, and then I spray it in the toilet. Guilty. <laughs> Wait, who can remember a you, thing like you that? You top it off? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me just top this off real quick. Yeah. Dude, I take yeah. a shit. She's like, do you spray the poop for I'm like, fuck. Yes. <laughs> There's a lot of poop lovers in the chat, apparently, I today. I don't know what's up uh, with that. A bunch of poop finish. Yeah. What the hell is going on here? Dude, I'll be fucking... In my deathbed, if somebody farts, I will probably laugh myself to death. Yeah, farts are funny. Farts so are is, so is poop, dude. Yeah, generally. You guys ever seen Poop Shotgun? No. What an incredible no. piece of cinematic history. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Uh, no, we don't need to pull it up now. No. I, we don't need that to right, get sidetracked. I have, sidetrack it. I have it on tap. We'll save it for yeah, later. Pin it. We'll circle yeah, back. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's, let's close it out I linked it, it to that. somebody today, actually. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, we'll get uh, things rolling in the right direction for sure. Um, yeah. Just make sure you stay right on top of that one because uh, right that one's it. just tough. Get right yeah, in yeah. It. You so like let it tickle tickle your face. You can yeah. you do it, pull it you off can freestyle. Angle it down. Yeah, yeah. You can free- Sometimes I just I will say I think there's enough cord. To, yeah, there's more than enough. I'll feel like these jazzy jazz or something. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, just so. uh, it just sounds like you're so far away if you're not right on top of it. So <laughs> yeah, like Dragon Force said. There you go. <laughs> uh, I think we're good to go. Sometimes Shook. I hold it like Mari, you know? You ready? But you like, probably like holding things to your face. Yeah, ice pops. <laughs> sometimes they eat, sometimes they eat corn the long way. Oh. <laughs> These guys are riding the dew tonight. Makes a lot. You make eye contact when you eat a banana? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, every time. 
<laughs> tell you something. It's the only one, way to do it. This Mountain Dew is hitting, though. This was a good choice. Is it? It yeah. brings you we, back? We ESP'd this. Yeah. Like, I want a Mountain Dew. Like, as soon as Same. I said I wanted Mountain Dew, his eyes opened right up. He was like, I was thinking it and when then, he said it. And then you confirmed, yeah, like, yeah, the green like, one? Yeah. That's exactly what he said. Yeah. The OG one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, the OG. There's a lot of flavors out now. Yeah. Do they still, it's too do they many. still have the code Nothing's red? Better than the OG. They have code red. They, they have, have high voltage. Yeah. There's a voodoo one. Uh, there's one called, it's like a pound cake version of it. Pound cake. What the hell? I know they did like a holiday fruit, no, fruit cake. Fruit one. cake. Yeah. Awful. You yeah, it was terrible. Cake to drink. Oh, yeah. The drink years ago, I had a drink. It was like Mountain Dew Cold Red with uh, Di Serrano. Yeah. Oh, dude. What about Dr. Pepper with Dubra? Look at not, not, not the strawberry. Not the strawberry. Not the Dr. There you go, right here. Dr. Yeah. Pepper with Duber is called Dr. Yeah, Duber. He actually got it for me by accident. The Dr. Pepper strawberry. I'm not a fan. Same, <laughs> same lid. That's a, that was a, my bad. <clears throat> Somebody just said, Kyle, you plan on going faster? Oh, we'll get into that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. yeah. Oh, it is far. Uh, I think we're ready. Shook, ready. Yeah. ready to go? Good. I'm aimed. Let's roll. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am Josh Garcia, and this is the Revival Motoring Podcast. As always, I'm joined by Corey.si. Hello, hello. And Shook TD. Hi. At Chuck, who is still in the old motherland. He'll be back a couple weeks. Uh, we miss him greatly. He figured out what a Honda Jazz was today. He was How did he not know it was a Honda Jazz? I don't know. Oh, he's so excited it surprised about me. It, he was very excited. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, he'll be back in studio today. We have Kyle. What's going on, guys? And how do you pronounce your first name? I'm sorry. It's Alex. Alex, okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a tough one. I, <laughs> no, well, because it, it, it threw me, the your Instagram yeah. uh, threw me off. That's yeah. why I'm like, wait, wait. It was first and last name combined. Uh, but they are here to talk about and tell us and teach everybody who's listening how to get into the sevens if you're into drag racing. By the end of this, you should be able to run seven. <laughs> yeah, because it's really easy, guys. It's super easy. So Just easy. Anybody can do it. Just put nitrous on whatever you have. Yeah, these guys there know from go. experience. They are in here to... Uh, chat about Kyle's project that he's been working on for the past few years uh, in making that thing go real fast. So we're going to talk about that and, of course, everything else we typically talk about. So before we get rolling, this episode is brought to you by Revival Motoring, revivalmotoring.com, where you can purchase uh, Jump Start, Clutch Kick, and Midnight Coffee, as well as Cold Start. It's finally up there on the website, six packs uh, for your consumption, as well as sign up for our B for the B, B for the B, B for B program. Shook will tell us all about that later on. I will. Mm -hmm. Very sweet tits. So, <laughs> so let's get right into it with the... If you'd like to leave a callback number, press 2. Callbacks. Josh, what have you been working on with the Mustang? Uh, nothing. Just uh, mentally preparing to purchase tires, basically. Mentally preparing. Uh, just because I'm going over and over. I'm, <laughs> I probably have 30 tabs open at home. <clears throat> Iron Man, I move twos. <laughs> Iron Man, I move threes. Mucho machos. The all mucho machos, yeah. All sorts of, like, ones on Walmart.com, a bunch of different ones. Uh, and I'm getting everybody's opinions on those things and seeing kind of, right now, the leader in the clubhouse is the Iron Mans. The Iron, Iron Mans. Mans. Yeah. Mucho machos. Yeah, yeah. Wait, Iron oh, no, Man? No, no, I'm sorry. Cosmic. Iron Man. I, Iron Man, I move two. Mm -hmm. That's the new Iron Man? Should I actually talk about three. this? three. Yeah, we were trying to think of the funniest tire names. Because so stupid. These drift tire names are ridiculous. They yeah. could literally have a Zenny or Falcon could just be like grassroots tire one, <laughs> grassroots tire two. If you have like three hundred horsepower, right? And then like grassroots right. tire four. Right, and they could four they would like sell five. if somebody right if they were to take take on that approach and manufacture a good shred wear long lasting yet grippy tire. Maybe I'm asking for too much and sell it for like sixty bucks. They they wouldn't be able to keep them. No, of I mean, like, not. tire streets can't keep them. There's the size I want from tire streets that just aren't there. But just it's sold out. It's just the naming conventions. Like, I don't think any of these tire companies are like, yeah, the fuck, the Mucho Machos are definitely going to be a drift tire. So, right. right. They, I that wasn't daily. their in initial in intent. They're awesome. Yeah. Can I just say that? They're great in the are rain. They? Yeah. And they're pretty sticky. <clears throat> yeah. But, like, if they just named, if they just had a company that was like, all right, grassroots tire, comp tire. Cock rockets. Yeah, cock rockets. Yeah, whatever. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, instead it's like 
Cosmic <laughs> rhino dick pill tire. I'm like, all right, dude, what's this one do? Yeah. They should try this grow longer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So, yeah, I have a bunch of tabs open. I'm trying to look for the cheapest deal. I, I want to just order a couple uh, to try them, but in a different size. So either 235s or 245s, whatever. I can kind of find. You want 17? 18. Yeah. Back in the day when I used to deal, we used to have the, uh, this Lexus dealership mm -hmm. and all the all the tradings, the Gleases would come in. Yep, take off. And just... they'd, take, they'd throw them in the tire pile outside. I'd show up the truck and just to load them up. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, sling them on. Bridge, bridge don't potences all the time. Yeah. Just load them up. What's like, your favorite you? tire, Josh? Uh, I don't know enough to, because yeah. right on the potato, there was a set of Falcons, RT, RTR 51s or something like that. I really like those, yeah. but I think those are too sticky to put on my car right away yeah. You'd be and they're too expensive too sticky tires gonna be harder for you to yeah. drive at first, yeah right? exactly that that's why i started 225 just yeah. wanted to be able to spin it real easy get used to it and then but now it's like okay yeah i could probably uh bump up that tire size and still be fine you'd be surprised i mean like jay sear says whatever's mm -hmm. cheap and available yeah like try not to get too <clears throat> caught up in the thing well no i mean it's it, it's it's uh, a mix of Who's in stock and who's a little cheaper? That that's basically it. It's I'm not having a preference because of you know one's mucho macho and this this mucho macho inside wear, so good outside wear. You know it's a little right. Bit, it's just not that. It's like dude, just fucking buy a tire and drive. I was just looking because if I had it my way, I would just buy it from Tire Streets and use a Send code it. and that be done. But they don't have the size I want, so yeah. that's why I went especially down the path of other. You're tabs. lucky with in the fact that it's straight axle, or, but you know whatever. But IRS is better this and that, but. The you're going to get the <clears throat> most money per seat time yeah. for your tires because they're going to be even every time. I, that's why I like the accelerators, but I, they're just not in stock. And they scream. They're like fucking banshees. Loudest tire. I mean, yeah, literal fucking so banshees. So it makes you sound like you're going really fast. Real yeah, it just, that's the thing. Like my car is just slowly floating, and the tires are just fucking. It's all dude's badass. Yeah. Josh was just all tire noise, no engine noise. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. You could not hear the car uh, like over the tires. It's a hybrid. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Really doing it for Greta. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else we got for callbacks? Anything? Uh, Shook, you were working yeah, you on your car. Mic. Put it in your face. Uh, there you go. You well, working on your car? Yeah, interior's painted. Okay. Dude. Break it down for me. What a massive undertaking. Because I'm like... Is it? I'm just going to paint the interior, obviously. And I get in there, I'm like, wow, I didn't take any of these plastic clips out. And then you do like a bunch of them, and then you're like, how did I miss all these? How did I not see these? So I was pulled... I literally... I couldn't fit all the plastic clips that I pulled out of my car in two hands. Like, there was that much Why, shit Why? What, what is all these clips? For all the wiring harness. Oh. There were so much fucking wires in this car. You don't need those. No, I got, well, I don't. I actually don't. I cut everything out. You kicked it out. I kicked the fuse box out, yeah. And then all, I'm replacing everything with a chassis harness. But um, I like it. Yeah, the interior's painted. There was, like, some rust in the inside. <laughs> actually, on E36s, on the... In the rears, they have big circles that are glued to the floor. They're like seals. Mm -hmm. And I was like chiseling up some of the sound deadening shit. I ended up pulling it out because I didn't want to paint over it and then have it. It was brittle. Yeah. Like one of them I literally picked up. It was just like a puck. Like a, it looked like a weather mat. Yeah. It was not sucked to anything. So I just picked it up and threw it. When it hit the ground, it shattered. Because so like, it would have fallen off as soon as you painted it. No yeah, exactly. What. So I'm like, <clears> fuck it. I'll take all this out. So some of it in the back was stubborn. I didn't know that there was like a a cap there. So I'm like chiseling it and hammering it up. And all of a sudden the chisel goes right through the floor. I was like, oh no. <laughs> and then I noticed that it's a big puck. And I'm like, you fucking dick. So yeah. now I have to seal that again. Yep. Uh, but the interior is painted. What's the status of the motor? Together, ready to go. It is. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, uh, I got the intake manifold. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably going to... Oh, you that. just showed us that. Yeah, yeah it's powder coated. I'm going to clean the shit out of that. Yep. Like three times. And then put it back on the motor, seal it up. And hopefully... I might need ARP flywheel bolts. I can't remember if I bought them. Mm -hmm. But are I'm going to try and get the... for a transmission on that thing? World glass, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. like really got the boys excited yeah. with that one. He's a gambling man. <laughs> Don't look at it, it might break. <laughs> I'll like tell you, I never had a problem. Never, not, ne never yeah, popped out of off. gear. Never popped out of gear. Never mm. grinded. Because you know how to drive then. 
Any, Listen, don't inflate. The, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the thing is, yeah. the thing is, you know, like when you go drifting, a lot of people bang second just to spin them. I'd grandma shift. Then just because they don't have enough horsepower. I don't see. Yeah, mine made two forty wheel. That's enough. That's why you can't break it. <laughs> yeah. Now it might make over three forty wheel oh, with no. the heads and stuff. So. You know, it might break. But I still, I don't see the sense in just slamming second gear for no reason. No. You literally just come up just to the place turn and there. turn just the car. Place it there. And then yeah. just hit the gas. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not a drag race to the yeah. turn. Yeah, no. In I, most cases. I'm not trying to impress anybody, man, because I just got engaged in case anybody oh, was wondering. So yeah. Congratulations. Oh. Thank you, everybody. Big shouts. Thank you, nice. everybody, for your kind words. We know who you're trying to impress. Your T's and your P's. Can we ask? She must listen. There, there was a plan. She does she don't care. There was a plan. I had like 17 plans. Because the la- last one I heard, you abandoned, clearly. So fast. So <clears throat> yeah. the first plan, I was going to take her up to top Mount Washington and do like a, uh, a, a a tour of a weather station that she mentioned that she thought was really cool and she mm-hmm. loves New Yeah, Hampshire. Mount Washington, the observatory. So I'm like, all right, let's get it. So I booked everything. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you did, you did set the bar pretty he high. Knows, he knows that ain't happening. I have to admit, though, the funny one is to remove 302 and use as a boat anchor. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> every, literally every, with my cam combination and heads, uh, every dyno video I see makes like 399 on an engine dyno. So yeah. So I don't, Most 302s, heads, intake cam package, they make about 320, 310. Somewhere around there, yeah. 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 Which, are, which is plenty. Which I'm is hoping, that's, what you're going to do. that's what I'm hoping for. You know? So yeah. we'll see what it, if it makes... 340, we'll see. You know, I did a couple of little things. You got Transmission's a definitely you got break. a handbrake? I got a handbrake. D- d- you need 200 horsepower. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it was, you know what? To be fair, it was fine where it was. I just was being a dick. I yeah. got a little carried away. Also, the heads that I had on there, the GT40P heads, were leaking a bit. So this was... It's a reason to spend money. Yeah. Yep. It was cheaper to buy these RPC heads than it was to redo the 40Ps. And it just made more sense because more power, all brand new, lighter... So when do you think you're actually going to go out with it? I'm hoping to have it done for staggered. If I could okay. just drive it to staggered, I'll be happy. Be awesome. So first week of September. But I'm, right. oh, that's plenty of time. Like, yeah. I'm also time. trying to just buy a seat time car so I could just drive the rest of the season while I work on it. And just enjoy it. Yeah. Just to fucking just drive with my friends. And if I crash it, it's like, well, I bought it to yeah. do this. So that, yeah. that was that. Um, just buy anything and weld the diff. <laughs> I'm going to buy a Z, I think. It's just oh, yeah? baby's first track car. So. Yeah. <laughs> baby's first <laughs> bids, bids, baby's first track. Okay. The Fisher uh, Price drift car is that? Yeah, it's Josh, like literally. Josh is like fuck this. I'm buying a Mustang. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> On paper, it was the best choice. I would buy a Mustang if it was track ready to go, and it was a good deal. I'll buy it. That's but you could find one fairly cheap work with a well diff and just throw the, suspension in. I know, but that pulls me away from if I spent a Saturday doing the suspension. Yeah, that's a Saturday I could have had. Fair, R- right? You yeah. you want to done the motor? You're the willing car. to pay for something done? You can literally drive. I literally right want to just do tires. Yeah, and just crash it. Like yeah. you said, have fun. No, no, yeah, you should, just want to have some fun. No, you should buy us a tire machine. <laughs> I so I actually <laughs> just bought a tire machine. Me, and my buddy. Did you? And we don't drift. <laughs> <laughs> I might because all my friends drift. Yeah, and it's like if I could just I don't have to balance it. No, give me yeah. twenty bucks a tire. Mm-hmm. If you want to use the machine, it's ten bucks a tire. Yeah, I'm sure something you can, you can, you can make, make some machine bank. pretty cheap. Just to just to bank. cover your. It's like two grand for like a brand new Chinese one. Dude, we we bought ours. Uh, it's an old hundred machine. We paid two fifty for it. <laughs> oh jeez! Like you could buy a time machine for under five. You get them bucks. from like Holy a dealership, shit. right? Yeah. Used. Yeah. They're yeah, just have, getting rid of the old ones. We have our old one because we just got like a freaking twenty thousand dollar one. Yeah, jeez. And What's the old one sitting there? It's an old hunter. It's it's a touchless one too. Does it grab the? Yeah, you're selling the old one. I don't know if they're gonna be selling it. All right, let me know. It's just a little. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you guys are mounting you on Asante wheels. So to make no, I don't. No, no, yeah, yeah that's that's care. right. It doesn't. I don't want to scratch my wheels if I could avoid. Well, it no, you're not going to yeah, go out of the way to do so, but. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Don't. But if it happens, you know, you're not going to cry. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's what it is. You knew what you were doing when you signed up for it. Yeah, exactly. So you proposed. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, so finish telling the story. All right. Okay, guys, I'm trying. I'm trying over here. <laughs> Damn, sidetracked like the poop one before. Yeah. <laughs> so I went to the top of Mount Washington. Sorry. Oh, geez. No, you didn't do that. I didn't go there. I was proposing to do that. She thought it was a great idea. And then she was like, you know, if you were, like, thinking about proposing to me up there, I don't want you to because, like, an ex-boyfriend brought me up there one time. And I think it. I just would want it to be, like, 
a something between us. Yeah, yeah. So she's trying to give me like heads up, but I was that, like, that was nice of her. That was really nice. I'm of her. so happy she said that because yeah. I was like, nah, I wasn't gonna do that. What are you stupid? <laughs> I'm not an idiot. <laughs> she had no idea I bought a ring. Yeah, nothing. I was I got it for our anniversary. Yeah, as like a cover up. Yeah. So I got it way ahead of when I thought I was gonna. So anyways, so I was like, all right. Phew. Not doing that. So then I messaged a band that she really likes. And I was like, hey, I want to propose to my girlfriend. They're like, all right, cool. Yeah, you can. I'm like, okay, how do I do it? They're like, well, usually we'll just call you guys up on stage. And then we'll hand you a mic and then you do your thing. And then I was like, all right. And then I started thinking about that. I'm like, I don't know these people in the crowd. I don't want them to hear this (laughs) shit that I have to say. Why would they need to hear what I'm about to say? I just, and then I was like, this is stupid because I want to stop the show so I could just be like, hey, there is a potential to get booed. Everybody's going to hate you. And then everybody's just going to be like, what the fuck is happening? Why we just want to watch the band (sighs) play? Dude, it would be so satisfying to get booed. (laughs) (laughs) It's been a viral you YouTube video. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> so I was like, Get you know what? Stage, you dummy. I was like, you know what? Fuck that, because she may like that, but it'd be weird if I'm doing it in front of people that I don't even know, right? That's so a I, good point. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna just. So you really put some thought into this. I'm gonna plan B that, and then now I'm thinking, how the fuck am I gonna do this? And I'm joking around with their dad because I'm like, I obviously he knew. He's like, just do it, do it at the Renaissance Fair. He's like, maybe we could talk to somebody and they'll let a sword fight for like her hand and honor. <laughs> and I'm like, that's cool. fucking cool, that's right? Cool. And I'm, but I'm like, that'll never happen. But anyways, we went to the Renaissance Fair and I brought the ring, and I wasn't even planning on doing it. Were but you I, nervous? So I was shitting my fucking pants, <laughs> but not until. So I brought the ring and I'm like, you know, this is fun. We're having a good time. I didn't bring it in. I left it in the glove box. So then we started having a good time. We're like drinking and stuff and. We bought some stuff, so I'm like, I'm gonna run this out to the car. So I, that I grabbed it, mm-hmm. and then I, I, your dad was like right next to me. She was like in a booth or whatever. So I turn around, I flick it at him, like, "Hey, I brought like showing this. him your badge." I was like, "Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah." I was like, "Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ace Ventura Pet Detective." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a drawing with yeah. crayon. <laughs> drawing I turn around, <laughs> I want to propose to your daughter, <laughs> but I don't know how. <laughs> So I uh, got Ray Finkel's yeah. ring. Finkel is Iron. Iron is Finkel. Finkel is a man. So I, I was like, I, I brought this just in case. And he looks at me and he had a cigarette in his mouth. And he's just like, literally, he just throws it without breaking eye contact. He's like, I'll be right back. I'm getting the fucking king. And I was like, okay. Just storms off. So now I'm sweating because through my shirt. Oh my now you know God. what's happening now. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Because I know him, he's not full shit. He's yeah, going he's to going find to get the, the king. king. Yeah. So I'm, and now she, and now I'm not prepared for this because I didn't. Which, even, to be fair, that's one of the most dad things I've ever heard. I fucking, I texted fucking him after fling like, so your I'm Marlboro. He actually likes you. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. We're we're cool, and I he I texted him the day after it was like Father's Day, and I'm like, I honestly, if it weren't for you, I don't know what I would have done. I, yeah, I thank you so out. much. Yeah, I love yeah, you. Yeah. you know. yeah. So I wasn't prepared for her to ask questions. Because oh, no. I'm in my own head. She's like, where's my dad? Where did he go? Where could he have gone? It's a small place. Should we, should we look for him? Where could he be? Are you sure he's going to the bathroom? I'm like, ah, ah, ah. I was like, I don't know. I think he had to pee. She's like, you think? I'm like, yeah, he said he had to. Why are you talking like that? I don't know. He's just peeing. Why is this so weird? So she finally just gave up on it. And then I get this phone call. He's like, where are you? And I'm like, we're at this hut down here. And he's like, look down the street. I'm coming. And I turn around. Horses. <laughs> oh my god. The king, the queen, Robin Hood. Uh, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? And uh yeah, and she kind of figured it out pretty quickly after that. I when mean, when she seen the fucking the the, the, the war to come, yeah. she, she was like, Why are they talking to me? And then she looked at me and I smiled and she went, Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and then when she turned around, then that's when I was like Boom. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it was good because, you know, he was there. He got video of it. Yeah. It's on my Instagram if you want to watch it. And now they can use it for all their promotion moving yeah. forward. The dude that runs it, super cool. Yep. So. You mean the king? Not him. He oh. doesn't run it. It's wow, another guy who actually is this? fucking jack <laughs> Looks like he listens to a lot of Godsmack. <laughs> <laughs> He's hey, like, what's up, wrong with pussy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying that's what he, what he looks like. You know what I mean? Like, he definitely drives a Mustang. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Jesus! Just wow. But like this, you got two Mustang but, guys but like, over here. Well, I got a Mustang engine. Corey's big time into him. Yeah. But he drives it like this. 
<laughs> white knuckled Van Halen that plan. Guy. It's the crossover. Yeah, it's yeah. The crossover. Yeah. The fucking. He's snap. at 11, 11 o'clock. He drives it like this. <laughs> right, right. His right hand is at eleven o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His resting hands are like this, and he's all hopped up on pre workout yeah, for no like, reason. He's fucking yo. Veins he had veins yeah. coming yeah. out of his neck. It's that literally that meme. He was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was like. Uh, yeah, you know, thank you so much. You know, thanks for coming. We appreciate you. You know, and he's like, here, follow me. And he brought us to the front and he got us tickets for the next fair that's in Lebanon. He's like, these are on the house. You get them for free. Sweet. That's cool. So he gave us four. There's three of us. I don't know if you didn't know math, but I can bring something. <laughs> you can scalp one. This is all the pre work. So we got sidetracked again. So obviously, what did she do when you showed her the ring? Both of us forgot how to talk. Oh my god! <laughs> I was like, I well, yeah. and then she was like, ha, 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 ha. and then we both, you could hear it. We're both just like, ha, ha, ha. Oh, and I, then she just starts like crying and hugging me. And well, I, I could definitely see in the video you definitely going. Uh, yeah, I literally was like, <laughs> I literally was like, well, because yeah. well, I, I watched it a couple times, and I'm like. Did he even get it out? No words. I'm like, no, he didn't. But not she a, knew. Not a she knew exactly word. what he was talking about. Yeah, yeah, Everybody's yeah. like, she's yeah. going to marry a sped? Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, ah! <laughs> yeah, just twice. Carmen. <laughs> complete caveman. Dude. Mm. Yeah. That's when, awesome, though. After the fact, we actually talked about it in the comfort of our apartment. Yeah. Where yeah. the fucking royalty wasn't staring at me. <laughs> I mean, the whole Renaissance. The scared. whole everyone. And then literally everybody in like a fucking hundred yard radius screamed huzzah. It was crazy. Wow. <laughs> they were into it. That's cool. So I'm guessing wild. she said yes. She did. Good. So well, works. congrats. Yeah, that's, that's definitely great. congrats, man. Well, you got your first ring done. Yeah. The way. First ring? Yeah. What's the two name? More. What are the other two? You don't really you don't know, honestly? Oh, the wedding yeah, band? The wedding yeah, band, there's, man. No. There's the engagement ring, the wedding ring, yeah. and the suffering. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You didn't know that one yet? <laughs> the suffering. <laughs> uh, big shots, Pete Coots in the chat. For, yeah. for He just said, uh, send a donation. Says, your mother ran sevens. Pretty quick lady. Yes, <laughs> Very quick fast. lady. She's fast. She's fast. <clears throat> uh, I don't have any other callbacks that I saved. All my other notes are irrelevant any, uh, to this. Any previous weekend uh, stuff? What happened this weekend? Walk City was this weekend. Didn't go. Neither did I. It looked like a good time. Got engaged. It did not look like a good time on Saturday. Oh, it just happened? Oh, God, I'm thinking it yeah, happened. Saturday. Oh, oh wow, man, yeah. that's like recent. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, uh, Saturday, Saturday like was fucking monsoon. Arc. Yeah, bit of a... Oh, you know what? That's I'm glad you did mention that, though, like because every car. big kudos to, obviously, Mike Lynch, everybody who runs Lock City. What a community. Why Why do I say this? The eggs? The eggs. Yeah, that's too far. And what I mean by the eggs is on track at Thompson... On, I believe, the center paved section, like the S-curve section on Clubhouse. Uh, on the outside, in the middle of the rub strip, was a, a there's a particular bird that is at Thompson, some breed really? of bird, that always has a nest somewhere on the track and oh, lays wow. its eggs somewhere on the track. Like last year, I remember it being on the, 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 uh, the, on the oval, but the straight part, so kind of like the pit, so it was off and off the beaten path, no... No real risk of a car running it over. This past weekend, the bird decided to lay its eggs literally in the worst place possible. Said, I too like to live dangerously. (laughs) And there's, at the beginning of the event, there's just a picture that Mike Lynch took. Eggs in the mid of the rumble strip. Four of them, just perfect little eggs. Oh, man. And I'm sure something was said at the driver's meeting, like, hey, do your best. Drive your best. Drive more. Uh, To miss, miss the eggs. All weekend, I'm worried about the eggs. Everybody's worried about the eggs. They're posting. They're on Facebook. First thing I see on Facebook, like Sunday morning, it's just somebody writes, does anybody know if the eggs made it? (laughs) (laughs) And everybody in the community drove their damnedest to make sure they didn't hit those eggs. They're still there. Hopefully they weren't taken out by a predator. I don't know. But hopefully they're there. They hatch and they grow on to live uh, long, long, prosperous lives. So big shouts to everybody and all the drivers for keeping it off the eggs. Yeah. That's impressive. That's a lot of work. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of seat time. Yeah. A lot of you tires think, going many, by those how things. Many cars were there? I those eggs were probably in the danger zone uh, thousands of times. Oh. <laughs> thousands of times. No because each car that's, that's the damn good driver gets then. two laps. So if each car is driving fifty times like the hundred person it just yeah, literally thousands little, yeah. of times. The potential to get hit was very big. Yeah. Or even some lucky birds. Taken out with a rock, anything. Literally anything. They're, yeah, they're fragile 
I like baby deal. <laughs> baby, baby, baby bird. Deal. Baby bird. Uh, so, yeah, big shouts to all the drivers and, of course, Lock City. That was this past weekend. <clears throat> um, Corey, any callbacks from you? No, nah, anything coming up this weekend? Anything going on? What about us? What's the next, what's the next thing we're doing? So, next thing on the schedule is our donut meet July 2nd, but we're going to move mm. that. Did we talk about moving it last episode? Yes, I, briefly. I, I haven't posted it or anything, um, but I think I should post it probably this week. You, I think soon. I yeah. should get to, ahead of that yeah. before I show up on the wrong day a second time. Again, uh, there is one thing. Yeah. Actually, it was sent to me in my <clears throat> notes. Showed uh, up and hung out with Josh I'm for 30 this. minutes. I was like, came for the donut meat. Realized it's next week. No donuts. No donuts. No dice. You yeah. used the restroom. We, I pooped and then we got <laughs> shawarma. So that was a good day. Worked out good for Ooh, you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've been sent a handful of different things. The, this weekend, June 25th, there is a Cars and Coffee at Treehouse Brewing. And Charlton Mass. Uh, if any of the drinkers out there is that the like one? to get sloshed. Is that the new one with the pizza? I don't know. I cannot answer I that. I can only imagine it's that one because I don't know how you'd park at the other one. I'm not too sure. Treehouse Brewing Company, Charlton Mass, Cars and Coffee, June 25th, 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, and you know who else is in Charlton? Jump on Mike. Is he? Yeah. Get out there, get tuned. Dude, that's the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Charlton Mass. Out there. Is that where he's at? Yeah. Yeah, I talked to my wife once in a while. I'll talk to him on uh, on Messenger. Yeah. I've yeah. never actually met him yet, but he seems like a really good dude. Very yeah. good. Very, very good. Yes. Uh, yeah, Charlton Mass is just like, how do I get here? No kidding. How do I get home? Like Where it's, am I? It's, yeah, it's a very strange place. Uh, yeah, he's tuned to a bunch of Chuck's cars, and I've, you know, long nights just pandering around. Oh, yeah. This is, around. I can uh, see yeah. how they could do it, but this is not the one I was thinking of. This is the original Location, I believe. I think the original is in like New Hampshire or something, isn't it? Treehouse? No, I'm thinking of a different place. No, because I think Treehouse has another location that's near like a butterfly sanctuary. Don't ask me how I know that. You're looking at me with judging eyes. I am. That's Immediately where he, was he did. <laughs> yeah. No, she does love that though. Um, the only reason why I know I think this one is because of Worcester. Worcester. It's near what? What? what it's near Worcester. You gonna go to Polar Park? Yeah. Polar Worcester. Park. Yeah. Fucking whip the car around and watch us again. Yeah, that's upcoming. And then uh, our friend Upstate Mike is putting together something pretty cool he from called Upstate? Formula None. Um, I'm gonna. That's his event is in July, so I got to save all the stuff. But uh, there's going to be some cool stuff with that. He might even try to do something here as well later in the season. We're going to pitch some dates. What back is a and Formula forth. None? It's just his basically cars and coffee event that he's putting together. I like the name. Yeah, Formula None. It's a great name. Great I like name. the name. <clears throat> um, but I can't think of anything else off the top of my head. I'm sure I'm missing something I got for this nothing. weekend. But I, I can't think of anything in particular. No. I mean, yeah. it's supposed to be shit weather again. Is it? This whole week it's going to rain where I'm from. Where you're from? Where I'm from. <laughs> Back in my country. Good old Tariff Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Wood sent me a picture of the... The fucking wheel and the the water wheel. And, oh, yes. And you can really see the light bar on the top, the <laughs> solar panel. We have a water wheel with a solar panel Big on it. Big LED Literally. installation. Yeah. Weird. Sure. I thought the Formula None thing was the in July. Maybe Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, we I'll, it. well, I'll bring that up. I'll, I'll pull them up real Josh quick. Josh will bring it up quick. What about you guys? You guys got anything going on this weekend? I'll be working on Saturday. Working? Making money? Making money? What about you? Uh, Saturday? I'm I'm off to Saturday or Sunday. All right. Depending on what he's doing, we might tinker with the cars a little bit. Weekend to yourself? Uh, Yeah. I got to get my interior back together now. We welded the roof back on the car last week. I hate interior stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I don't don't mind it. My car's not bad because I got aluminum door panels, all Uh. aluminum rear seat delete kit. I feel I mean, like I'm all Race folded car. up all different ways and trying not to either trying to get to stuff. It's Try doing that in a 25 five cage. So uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. I got no cage in my head. Uh, just real quick, Formula One Drivers Club. You can follow them on Instagram. But their first Formula None um, event is going to be this weekend, June 25th, uh, 8 a.m. to noon-ish at 12% Beer Project. Uh, let's see. Cars, coffee, beer. Join us for the first Formula None event ever. June 25th special guest Throttle will be in town from the West Coast. Uh, let's show them what CT has to offer. So, again, follow them, Formula None Drivers Club on Instagram for all the details. But uh, that's another event. If you're out there, you want to get down and you're local, have at it. Um, what else we got for callbacks? Anything? I think I'm 
kind of tapped. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Let's move. Uh, let's want to do B for B. Let's do B for B real quick sure. before we get into news. Oh, do I, you want me to? Yeah, I was going to have you start that off. All right. Listen here, you son of a bitches. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what's for? <laughs> God damn it. What's Fox for boys, you say? It is a... <laughs> why Why did you say it like a villain just <laughs> yeah. now? What's yeah, Bucks for Boys, you say? You just dick dastardly. <laughs> what is Bucks for Boys, you say? <laughs> it's a dollar for dollar system. Is that what he value says? Value for value. Value for dollar system. Value for value. No, you give us a dollar and we might give you one. Nope. No, we won't. Nope, that's not how it works. We need the Listen, money to keep the lights on. Yeah, you got to go to our website. Revivalordering.com. Okay, Revivalordering.com. We'll get B4B. through this. I promise we'll get through it. <laughs> I'm really working hard here. I'm struggling. Uh, and you're going to give us money uh, because you love us. So you're going to go to uh, Revivalordering.com slash B4B. Where, where you, you can, can sign up for a sustainable donation. You could do that or you could just give us money. Well, that's at info that's, at Revivalordering.com yeah, from info PayPal. Yeah, but. We'd prefer the sustainable yeah, donation. It feels a little bit better for us and you because yeah. it's only two bucks. And you don't even see it. It's like, you know, when you subscribe for Netflix and forget all about that. Exactly. We'd like you to do that to us. You can do two dollars, five dollars, ten bucks, twenty bucks, mix them up, forty two, forty five, however you feel. One three three seven if it you're doesn't feeling four twenty sixty nine. If uh you're Shirk's car is it. ever done, he can blow the tires off that thing. That's still on the table. I'll do a burnout in any car. I don't care. Oh, any car. Any car at all. Okay. Any car. That's good it to could know. Be Chuck's Miata. I think the keys are in it. <laughs> so uh, they probably yeah, are. they probably are. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> can't, can't this. so uh, B for B, as Shook was alluding to, is a value for value system. If you take anything from this show, our show, topics under the stairs, loose is fast, talking about motor- motorcycles, our YouTube channel, whatever it is, uh, if you appreciate that at all and want to keep want to help keep us doing so you can go to our website revivalmorning.com where you can sign up for the b4b or if you have a one-time uh donation that you want to hit us up with go to paypal info at revivalmorning.com and of course hey we get it times are tough can't do that you can still hit us up with messages emails all that sort of stuff with news tips news tidbits new nissans that are eventually coming out that we put out there in the ether before anybody else that's true true. uh and you know general messages and uh memes you know all that sort of stuff memes are great yeah memes doesn't matter just send us stuff we we appreciate it we like talking to everybody so that is what b4b is if you are an active b4b subscriber you will receive stuff from us in the mail every now and again like stickers, maybe postcards, maybe air fresheners. Matter of fact, my wife took it upon herself the other day. She came up with the wonderful idea to pick our like top five biggest purchasers or contributors overall ever since we started Revival Motoring and just send them stuff. Make sure they get a nice, nice thing in the mail j- just for no reason at all. Other than, hey, you're supporting us. You've always supported us. Let's send you something at the very least. Pretty cool. That's pretty so awesome. uh, with that, you are also automatically entered into win a gift basket of some sort from us every month. Whether we have a sponsor or it's just stuff that we have laying around that we can put together, we will send you something like that in the mail. Uh, every month we're going to pick a winner. Next, next one's coming up yeah. in the next couple of weeks. July 5th. Ooh, there we go. We're going to bring it so in not the bang. next week, the week after. July 5th. Independence giveaway. Independent. We might even have some fresh coffee to put in the box. Ooh. Fresh, fresh looks, if you will. Uh, so maybe we can do that. But yeah, if you're an active B4B sub, you are automatically entered. Don't have to do anything other than, you know, make sure you pay your bill. So it's kind of like a, instead of the dollar for, what'd you say it was? Value. 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 value system. It's more of like a double dutch rudder system you work my arm i work yours <laughs> in a they sub work in a arm. roundabout we give them stuff work there. freddie mercury way yeah you're 100 percent correct Mama. <laughs> yes you're accurate uh but that's our b for b spiel we appreciate everybody who subs to that and we have a way to judge how last week's episode did in previous episodes to that each week with a BPL rating. Corey, you have that BPL, I believe. I certainly do. And so our bucks per listen for our episode last week earned us 14 cents per listen. Wow. Ooh. Every single time someone listened, cha-ching, 14 cents. That was it. That That was was it. It just came flowing in. Like like Donald Duck, not Donald Duck. Scrooge McDuck. Scrooge Scrooge McDuck. McDuck. Uh, And if you can't, Give us money. You can watch our content, which will earn us money. Mm-hmm. We always leave that out. Or you can leave us a review, which we have one here. It was left to us by P. Coots. P. Coots up in the chat, leaving us a dollar ninety nine. He also left us a review. Big shows, P. Coots. Titled, She Loves It. 
Five stars, and he says, "My mother and your mother, big fans." <laughs> 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 so, uh, it's perfect. Yeah, and he left that for us. And you know what? You can go leave your own little message. What did somebody say on YouTube for your drifting video? They're like, "Oh, I didn't see Shook there." I was like, "Yeah, because I was at your mother's." House. <laughs> oh, <is that> <laughs> <laughs> oh, who was that? I can't remember. I forgot who, but yeah, somebody commented on it. Hang on, hang on. Here, big shot uh, that guy. Yeah, so like they had all said, it's a uh, contribution to many different ways. Monetary reviews, watch the content, give us little tidbits and tricks. Uh, yeah, and jump in the chat. What yep. are we, about, about 7 p.m.? About 7 p.m. every Wednesday. Yeah. About. Yep, right around, give or take. Sometimes we're early, sometimes we're late. Doesn't sometimes sometimes we're maybe good, <laughs> sometimes maybe shit. I love that guy. He's <laughs> hilarious. It's like my spirit animal. This is Matt Rabbit. Shout Matt out Rabbit. to Matt Rabbit on YouTube. Okay, I don't. Know you didn't who see that Shook is. there, and you said, <laughs> "Yeah, he said." Hold on, he the said, fact that you even read it. He said, "Looking, well, I watched it because he went drifting. And I was excited for him, so I gave him I, a thumbs up." You know how up. excited I was? I went. I couldn't go, asshole. He was, I don't know. He was thinking of a game plan for proposing. He said, "Looking good, dude. <laughs> no footage of Shook out there, though." Oh, wait, dot, dot, dot. So I said I was at your mother's all day. <laughs> I said, how dare you? My mother is a saint. I love you guys. Get uh, well, he's probably happy that you you responded. That's a good be. thing. You know, you're reachable. I don't know if he's happy about it. I said your mother. No, I we're, we're there. We're amongst the people. Yeah. We're just like everybody else. That's it. Don't think because I'm gay, you won't fuck your mother now. You, know? <laughs> no, just, you could have been in there, you know, painting the room or something. Painting. Jesus, yeah, I, yeah, I was just there painting the room. <laughs> Paint in the wow, room. Painting. Paint in the room. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's cue the other boys. News. News. Do you know Mitsubishi still makes vehicles? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's what news the, to me. Is it the Outlander. Twenty twenty four Mitsubishi Triton. What's a Triton? There's a teaser video. Released ahead of its July 26 debut. Mitsubishi originally previewed the next generation Triton in March by unveiling a near production XRT concept. And now it's getting to take the wraps off the final version ahead of its world premiere July 26 at an event held in Thailand. The truck is at the forefront. Oh, it's a truck. Is at the forefront of a surprisingly revealing teaser campaign. The shadow images reveal the lights front and rear while the video basically shows the body and a bit of the interior too. Shook, you want to yeah, shook, uh, do, pull that up? up? I'm curious what Mitsubishi thinks a, a, a truck looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I had to be honest probably, with you. Probably a coffee pot. Yeah, I think it's going to be... What's it called? Triton. Like, oh, wow. The Outlander with like the back cut off. I think Why Avalanche. Why they name it after a Ford <clears throat> motor? Um, oh, is this something they've been making in a lot of other places and now it's finally going to come to the U.S.? It might be. Oh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, no, that, shook, that just like go it. to all. It looks like a Ridgeline. <laughs> Or if you just t- uh, look for, yeah, there you go, Motor One, perfect. It's a, it's a wannabe Toyota Hilux. It looks like, yeah, Ridgeline, uh, Avalanche from the side for the most part. I don't know. Let me look back on this article and see if it gives me any clue oh, as yeah. to what size it's going to be. I saw an incredibly lifted Avalanche the other day. Didn't get any pictures of it. Just a body lift. Yeah. Real hard. Just all frame <laughs> rail showing in the wind. Oh, frame- <laughs> uh, oh look, there's knobs. We got buttons and knobs. It's right hand drive, apparently. That's well, that's this version. Yeah, can they? Can we? Nope, they no. can't make right hand drive vehicles here at all. No. Nope, we drive on the other side of the road. It doesn't matter. Why does that matter? I don't know. I'm you sure there's some rules. Years. Yeah, it's just I feel like that's like of Go all back. the things. Do we to... have any locking diff buttons or anything interesting? Or is it uh, just let's like... see, drive mode and hill descent assist buttons along with toggles for the climate settings. Uh, by the looks of it, Mitsubishi has not integrated all functions into the touch screen as drivers will have quick ass- access to often used features. Pretty sure my one series has hill descent. Yeah, they have hill descent. <laughs> 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 what am I going to do? 4 high, 4 high, 4 HLC? I think LLC. I think all four of the designers. Is Mitsubishi high. finally an LLC? They, yeah. They've just established that after all this time? Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Naturally, it looks a lot like the XRT since the one that one was more along the lines of a near production prototype rather than the concept. Mitsubishi says the this pickup has been completely reimagined under the design concept beast mode. 
Uh, Marketing fluff aside, it does seem tougher than the outgoing fifth generation model that has been around since 2014, apparently not in the U.S. Uh, Before receiving a facelift four years later, the teasers show a fresh take on the split headlight and arrangement uh, with a three-point design along with roof rails and rear sports Are we sure this is coming here? I am not, actually. Can I just say that I think I speak for everybody when I say that literally... Whenever the word Mitsubishi is spoken, I don't think a singular person doesn't think shouldn't have stopped making the Evo. No, Every that's the first thing. Every single person oh. thinks that before they ever even have a coherent sentence I formed. I just, just see four G six threes in my sleep. Like, just, when just somebody's like, "Hey, did you see what Mitsubishi did the other day?" Everyone's like, "Evo." You know what they should have done? Yeah, four G sixty three in yeah. the truck. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I'd buy one. I would actually consider buying one if they put a four G sixty. Or I picture the Jun Evo just drifting sideways in yellow and green liver. It just so if you're from Mitsubishi and you're listening right now. Yeah, they're they're, they're tuned in. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're definitely on. Yeah. Just make a cool car, dude. You make nothing. You make Go nothing. Uh, on. Are right, you you already closed it. Never mind. Josh, see if you can bring up just Mitsubishi's Sports car, car website. No, I could do that. What are they currently offering? Nothing. Like they ruined the Eclipse. They made it an SUV. Yeah. Yep. Like vehicle wise, they're offering. Wow, more than I thought. Mitsubishi cars, boom. Two dealers <clears throat> nearby. Where? No. Idaho. All right, go vehicles. There's a Mitsubishi dealership down the street from me, and all they usually have in the lot is other manufacturers' used cars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think there's one they in have, 44, isn't there? They have six cars. Well, an Outlander, Sorry. an Outlander, an Outlander. Yeah, they have six cars. <laughs> they have the re- so technically they have <laughs> two cars. Yeah, they have an Outlander, an Outlander, an Outlander, mm-hmm. an Eclipse, a Mirage, and a Mirage. So three cars. Is yeah. that an all-wheel yeah, drive Mirage? Cars. Wait, you can get a Mirage for 16? Yeah, that was the cheapest car in America for a little while, I believe. I thought it was like the Chevy Spark or something. All right, what's the curb weight? That's what I'm interested in. Let's book our (laughs) test drive. Seems like a roller skate. Reliable and affordable. Those 13s on it? Five (laughs) ten year hundred thousand mile warranty. Thirty nine miles a gallon. Five seats so your mother can join. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. Well, I take a scenic route. Oh, it's a CVT. Wonderful. Great. I'm sure it's great. Ooh, the wait, wait, go, go, go. Brain rally style to the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah 125 horsepower. I think that's, way. I think that's Jeep's motto too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Crawl every mall. Wow. Why do they do? Why do they do this? Do what? Is this all wheel drive one that I click on? No. So why that's did they just do the, this? That's the rally out art. You know. Because, yeah, the rally fart. Well, because the Mirage has that you know race inspired rally name in it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they figure yeah. they got to try to sell cars any which way they can. Mm-hmm. It's just crazy because it's like you had a rally car and then you got rid of it and now you're trying to bring the rally. If you want to bring the rally back and fucking make an Evo. Pretty much. Stop. I wonder, I, I never actually looked at it. Why did they kill the Evo Because they're stupid. People weren't buying them, honestly. Just because of sales, I'd yeah, imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because they made the Evo 10 for like 100 years. <laughs> Oh, it's not that. They weren't cheap. What was the, what was the MSRP on an Evo? I think 40, 40 something. something. Yeah. Yeah. They were still that yeah. high 40. And back then, it was like, yeah. I think because yeah, you had to then. start with the uh, STI yeah, slash, obviously, say. Evo was the, yep. the comp, but I know they had the MR Evo, which is a yeah. little bit more. Um, but yeah, I think they were. That's the thing. People that, people that want to buy these cars are like, where they're like 20 to 26 years old. Yeah. Right, exactly. Matter of fact, at the time when they were there, I yeah. wanted one, but I'm like, there, I can't afford that. There's yeah, no way. They were like 50k. It's like it's crazy. But Today, they, 50k. They could probably still make, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still holding their value. I feel like they could have made a uh, more affordable. I mean, it that platform. We say whatever you want. I guess it's just everybody who always argued WRX STI or Evo. But at least it had. At least there was competition there. Yeah. Yeah, the Subaru has a market to themselves now. Yeah. As soon as Subaru lost competition, they put fucking garbage can lids around the WRX <laughs> wheel wells. It's bad. Yep. Think of, like, the like in the, the Evo at that time, I think, personally, in my opinion, it was the better buy. Even if it was more money than the STI. You got, a, you got a better car for the platform, better turbo, better motor. Dude, it had, for the it nine. had fucking a dial for, like, tarmac surface. So does the Outlander thing? Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. Yeah, that's but a dial. that's there's there's a marketing point for the Triton derived from the Evo. Lame. 
because it's not an Evo. <laughs> but like Subaru, Dial, Subaru doesn't have. You could be like, oh, wet pavement, pavement, gravel, loose gravel. It's like that's rally. I don't know if it's doing anything. It is. No, it's moving the center. Distance. They got like it's, SI it's drive. The they got yeah. all sorts of other things. No, they, they work. That stuff works good. I don't know. It's just a cool car. It, but the rally fart stuff, stupid. It's like, oh, yeah, you could get this. It's a way lame version of the Evo. Yeah, that thing was yeah. horrible. The it's rally auto. Yeah, the seats were terrible. I think, unfortunately, Mitsubishi missed the boat on resurrecting the Evo. Because if they were going to do it, they would have already done it. Because now, it was, now again, it's going to be an EV. As we talked about, Golden Age, it would have been the past two years if they had yeah, brought it they back. They should Even if they had brought the Eclipse back as a vehicle, because, you know, it's, it's got so they many years. They could have, yeah. Just they pull so that right. Many, pull they that right so through. many years they're building it. You know, they've created such a, you know, a name. And, like, even, like, just, just with kids, like rally and racing. It could have, right. It's like, right. if they probably, I would consider, I bought one brand new in 96. And, I, you know, I think it was the best thing I ever had bought. I love that car, but. An Eclipse? Yeah. They bought a brand new uh, G6. So, so, in 96, was that the Brian Earl Spillner? Yeah. Gen, second gen? Yeah, second, okay. it was the second okay. gen, but before they did the 17-inch wheels and the big wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And I, that thing was great. You know, I back in the day, we're talking 96. I know I had Evo 316G in that thing. Yeah. Uh, Apex, Super AFC, a full exhaust, and then a cooler. And I, I think it was, we were in the 12s. So we were in 12-2 with it. Which is wild. Yeah. Yeah. Back, yeah. 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 That's, that's wild back then. The guys yeah. used to, all the DSM guys up at the New England Dragway, and they'd be like, oh, an automatic? Yeah. Because it was an automatic. Was, you know, my girl at the time, she needed to drive it too. Yep. So I said, we'll get an automatic. And then we just I pushed the limits of that automatic. I probably broke that trainee like 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it was nothing available. There was nothing. Right, and right. Level 10 up in New York, they eventually made a trainee for it. But it was like nine grand. I was like. Even even JDM-wise, there was nothing available? There was nothing. There's nothing available. Uh, Transgo finally made a shift kit for it. Mm-hmm. And it lasted a little bit longer, but it was literally, it was 20, 25 passes of training. And how so, much power were you putting down, do you it think? It was probably that, probably, probably 400. Which isn't like crazy, no, you know what I mean? In 96, that's a lot. Yeah, that's but true, for too. something that was designed. Especially out of four, yeah. So, yeah. For yeah. half that. <laughs> they, weren't, they weren't light, and, you know, factory trim. They were pretty heavy. Yeah. So, you know, back then, you know, they was designed to, you know, made 210 flywheel. What would they right, call? Right, right. What would they call the Evo or the Eclipse if it was, if it came back as a... Uh, EV. A trash can? Because Tim Connors is good. The Eve, EV. EVO. Because <laughs> it's EV zero emissions or Evo. Yeah. Well, I'm. If, you know, that would be a good point, but Mitsubishi wouldn't be smart enough to do that. <laughs> if Mitsubishi <laughs> did like Porsche did, put the gas engine in the back and the front wheels were driven with electric motors. Yeah. A hybrid. That be, yeah. That would be gangster. Yeah. Because that Porsche is killer. Yeah. Now that thing yeah. works really well. And then you got two engine guys working at it at two different times, like the same time, like yeah. making double money. Very efficient. Um, but yeah, it you know, RIP Evos. Pretty much. Worst yeah. truck. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah, we don't have the sound today. Uh, let's see. What else do we have for news? Shook, you got anything? You got any news this week? Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, GR86 Traino Edition. Excuse me? The GR86 Corolla mm-hmm. or whatever the fuck the... Toyota thing is oh. called. Oh, the BRZ. Yeah, yeah. GR86. Yeah. 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 They ma- released a, tr- a Traino edition. Traino like, edition? Yeah. All right, let's put some eyes on it. Yeah, pull it up. Let's see what we got. Are you yeah. talking about like the T R U E N O? Is that, I don't know how to yeah, pronounce A86. it. Yeah, A86. Yeah. Traino. Is that how you say that? I don't know. That's okay. always how I said it in my mind. Yeah, did they come up with some kind of Corolla, some special edition turbo Corolla? A buddy of mine said, yeah, the GR well, yeah, Corolla. The GR Corolla. Yeah, is that some Corolla hatch? Some dealership wanted like sixty grand for one. Oh yeah, so we were talking about that I was earlier. Laughing in my Whoa, stickers That's it. on the door. Stickers, stickers, and yeah. a hood sticker. Is that all? That's it. That car looks oh. the same as it did like twelve years ago. Says yeah. Trano. So, you, you know, good, good question. Anybody like in the, the chat? I like the interior. If you can give us a uh, a proper, um, what is it, dialect? Yeah, the, the of interior how to pronoun- pronunciation. Like quite Comfy in there. This one comes with uh, Trano oh. RTV in the oil pan. Only 860 60 units. Okay, 860, right, because 86. Yeah. I like that they're actually acknowledging it. Um, How can you have fake suede? Is it really? That's what it says, faux suede. No, uh, they It's still terrible to drive, though. I'm sorry. The BRZs, terrible. <laughs> it yeah. says... You're not a fan? I've, I remember when they we, we got them launched... Yep. I took Quick, fill us in. What do you do for your day job? Work at Subaru. Okay. So, so anyway, the first familiar. time when they launched them and I drove one, I was so like disappointed. Yeah. Because I was, of how like, I was slow wow, and just slow, so uncomfortable. You felt so like tight inside of it. Yeah. Like I've driven an S2000 before and I would rather have an S2000. Oh, S2000 over everything. I, yeah, S2000 is like my favorite import car. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'll take the Mustang. Do you see this comparison? 
State the Mustang, please. 2023 Toyota GR86 is 28.4. <laughs> mm-hmm. Honda Civic SI, 28.8. Yep. 2023 Ford Mustang 27.7. That's got the eco boost though. No, I was going to say, that's no, not a that's GT. That's probably a six-cylinder. Yeah, yeah cylinder. that's not the GT. I don't really? Even, yeah, you, I would go say. G, you would go G, the six-cylinder The six-cylinder still has like 320 horse. I would take that over the, the Toyota. I think I'd go Toyota. No, no absolutely not. I would rather have the Honda. <laughs> I, said, I was going to say, I'd what do you my guy? What are we using it for? <laughs> I, I, had, I had one of those. You don't want it. Bro, the Honda's got VTEC. It doesn't. <laughs> oh, it doesn't? No, LEV has no. Oh, no. Jesus. The new, this new one does Can't not. Can you hear the cool VTEC noises anymore? No more shotgun? No. Oh, my God. No, they no pump more. them in through the speakers. No, there's oh, nothing. Man. Yeah. There's nothing. It's just, just they hit you with a pop. It doesn't make, it, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any noise up front, dude. It's like oh, all the man. back. Sounds okay, like so a, this weird. looks like, ah, it is still the EcoBoost, which is good. It is a Turbo 4. I yeah, so it's Turbo 4. I would go Turbo 4. 27.7. 2.3 liter EcoBoost. There you go. What's that? What does it have the horsepower rating on that? Uh. Uh, where are my highlights here? Yeah, 310 horse. Yeah, yeah so I'll take that all day long. Yeah, that'd that be high. the one, especially for 27. New, brand new car. EcoBoost way cooler than V6. Well, have you heard one with an exhaust on it? Yeah, they sound, uh, like, dude, they sound like 180s. Dude, it sounds horrible. Yeah, it's like the, I mean, my buddy had a Raptor, the twin turbo Raptor. He put an exhaust on it. I was like, he, he as fast as he put it on, he took it back off. <laughs> Ed Just, Pudvis doesn't sound bad. No, no Pudvis sounds pretty good. Just to. But some of them are. Entry level yeah. GT. I think we talked about this before, Still but you're, you're at 38 for entry level GT. Entry level GT. What's entry level EcoBoost like? That's that's 27.7. Yeah. Entry level EcoBoost is just as is. I wonder what they go for like used. A couple hundred thousand, or not hundred thousand. A couple hundred thousand. Yeah, <laughs> thousand. Thirty thousand miles on it. Yeah. They take that Mustang was thirty eight thousand for a base model GT. You put a Pro Charger on that thing for like eight grand, and it, it makes like seven eight hundred horsepower. Yeah, that thing's an animal. It's like literally, it's the best bang for the buck for yeah. under fifty. Like you can't beat it. Like those things are. Yeah, my buddy Dan's made like I think over a thousand, and it's tuned by Lund. Yeah, but I, yeah, the Lund has a lot of a lot of the tunes. On all the remote tune stuff. and shit. It's all mint, and it's like the fattest fucking turbo. He keep blew up a thousand transmissions. Got to do one. Those ten, those ten R eighties are pretty strong. Those automatics. They're, his, they're so his was built in China. That was the issue with it. So it blew. Really? Up. They're actually made in China. Yeah. Wow. That my buddy's a like a master tech at Ford, and he was like, "These trends are junk. They keep coming in broken. It's auto." Yeah, the ten R eighties that people, most people I know that have them, they said they're good. They're really stout to about a thousand. Or maybe it was, maybe autos are good. Manuals are bad. It may be the six L eighty, the, the six, the six, the, the six speed one before they went to the ten R eighty. Yeah. So the six, six speed one is junk. Yeah. So the six, yeah, yeah, the six speed one is yeah. I got a buddy of mine. Uh, he's been chasing that that uh the six speed uh, record. And he just says the same thing. It just keeps breaking the train. He's exploding it, yeah. So he went Bill Auto and stuff. That car is fucking like 150 in the quarter mile, but it's like tens because it's yeah. 60 foot. He's they're figuring they're out. He- oh, they're heavy. A buddy of mine uh, has one. He ended up putting a turbo 400 in it. It's got a set of pre- precisions on it. Yeah, I think like 10 pounds. It goes 890s. That's fucking crazy. Was that the one that was at the track with us? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a nice car. Yeah, it's Wender, yeah. That's a nice car. He's got a lot of cars. He's got that. He's got that Pro Charge Corvette. It's all about that 60 foot, and you're going to figure that out later in this episode. Mm-hmm. 60 foot, really, it does. It's it, it's all what it's all about. If you can get it to 60 foot, you know, it really cuts down those times. Dude. I, I've seen Civics caught 140s, which is fucking sick. What blows I, my mind is those guys, those, they can do the all-wheel drive conversion, and they're still going like a 138, 60 foot. It's still back the f- end of the track. But the front wheel drive guys are going 138, 60 foot. I'm like, so what's the benefit of going to the all wheel drive? I believe right. even Speed Factory, when they were front wheel drive, they went like a 136. Mm-hmm. When they, so I don't geez, see the when advantage. Front wheel drive, who's which, the current, which is amazing. Who's the current leader? Is it still 7, 8, 7, 7, 7, 9? No. Speed Factory is going 690s now. Oh, shit. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't kept up with it. Now, though. No. Oh, okay. After they crashed the car, they, they, they shipped it somewhere. And they built a whole new chassis, and it's all-wheel drive now. I knew Speed Factory was the leader yeah, for a bit. There were 790s. Yeah, was, no, there, was, there's, so many, there's so many sp- front-wheel drive cars going mid-7s now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah I haven't kept... That, that's like a, a $100,000. Yeah. Stuff. When I sold you know? all the Civic stuff, that was it. I unfollowed. I untied. Yeah. No more. You severed it. I severed all. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I kind of did the same thing with the Subaru stuff. Yeah. Yeah. We'll I get really, into really that, because there's yeah. a whole... whole yeah, Trail of destruction, <laughs> if you will. Yeah, there used to be a kid in uh, out of Jersey. They think it's pretty, I think you guys probably know what the car was called, uh, Section 8. All-wheel yeah. drive Civic. Oh, yeah. He's a he's Portuguese. Yeah, too. he was yeah. one of the first ones to go and put it in the 7s. He went yeah. 780s, I think. Yeah. Jesus. But these ones. <laughs> what, was like what shop was Mama that? Mia. Wasn't he from a shop? He was, he was from, from some uh, shop, but the car was called Section 8. From wasn't uh, his name Kahuna? 
No. No. He's a Portuguese kid, actually. From uh he was from uh, New Jersey. I thought they owned a shop in They do own a shop. So they okay, so that car was built in Connecticut by the kid that tunes my car, Derek Burton, his buddy John Little. Or yes, John Little did a lot of that fab work today. So I John Little made the first all wheel drive civic kit in a ninety three G. They bought it. They took all of it apart, figured out how you made everything, and now they started reproducing it and selling the kits. And to make it a bank. Yep. And <clears throat> that was probably his biggest mistake. But John Little is a nasty, nasty fabricator. He figured all that shit out himself in a John garage. Little actually was the um the first one that I actually he did a blue one too. The captive of a yeah. blue EG. Yes. Some um, I know the original owner for that car. Yep. And I I literally used to go to that shop. I saw it on the lift when he was yeah. building it. Even the streetcar had um, RPF ones on it. Yep. yep. Derek, yeah. all them were that was MSR racing, money shot racing. Yep. <laughs> it's fucking awesome, dude. And and they, actually, Emerson. I'm pretty sure his name is Kahuna, the guy that bought no, the car. It's not. It's uh, Steve, um, Steve. Close, Steve, close. Steve, <laughs> Kahuna, Steve. I always get him confused. <laughs> the big Kahuna is from Mike Jersey Mike's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's not that pineapple yeah. fucking thing. No, it's like a steak with the jalapenos. And oh, I thought it was steak with like a, a mango habanero <laughs> sauce or some <laughs> shit like that. Yeah, dude. I kind of. I know he's Portuguese. Because every time you would make a post, we would put the Portuguese flag up, too. Yeah. I'm thinking yeah. Speed Factory. It's not Speed Factory. It's another fucking weird shop like that. It'll Tri- Tri-State Motorsports. Tri-State Motorsports. Tri-State Motorsports. I just I'm, t- of I'm telling you one of the guys there's name's yeah. Kuna, then. I don't <laughs> no, fucking know. Yeah, no. They so bought it. It's Kuna. 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 Because Kuna is Portuguese. <laughs> okay. Here we go. It's close. Dude, it's Kuna. been a minute. It's been a minute. Kuna. It's Kuna. Okay, Hawaii, okay. Yeah. Portugal, Dude, it's island. Been a minute. It's been a minute. Brazil, same yeah. same I was yeah. close. Give me it. I was on the dartboard. I yeah. You're close. Definitely yeah. there. But yeah, that car. And then it was like uh, this ugly green. Yeah, they, they wrapped they, it in like... Um, puke like, green. Yeah, puke green. But that car was fast it, as it hell, was man. fast as fuck. Very consistent, too. But he ended up hitting the wall. But now we actually... Because I still follow him on Instagram. He has a... Um, a black um, two-door coupe now. But he swapped everything into that now. Okay. And the first hit, you think he went like a 780. That's fucking fast, yeah, which dude. Is, which so is, yeah. fast. Which is ridiculous. Fast, yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, the problem, that 780 was probably at 195 miles an yeah, hour. Yeah, it was. It was probably <laughs> which is yeah. absurd. Yeah, 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 absurd, the back half. Any other news? Corey, you have any news? Nothing that's pertinent. I was going to say, there's nothing really relevant news-wise. There's not too much. Dude. Yeah, let's, let's just kind of get right into yeah, the whole... The whole reason the boys are here. If if uh, that's John Little, John shout Little out to Little's Wrist Innovations. Uh, yep, that's Brian from Grade Eight Motorsports. He's a good dude. Yeah, so yeah. Big like shouts everybody in the yeah. chat. Little okay, Little's Race Innovations. This is also we should say if follow. anyone's got questions in the chat, throw them in there. I'll uh, yeah, f- gonna keep track of them for these guys in particular, and we'll uh, we'll bring them up later on, or actually on topic as they come. I up. was gonna say yeah, as they're relevant to what we're covering. So I guess you could say this episode cut a pretty six sixty foot right into the main topic. As I, we certainly did. <laughs> <laughs> what do they got? Good trap time. We had the big tires on <laughs> today. Yeah, yeah nope, we do little tires. No, little tires. Little, sorry, little tires. Little, little tires. No prep. Big tires of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't run pro mods here, kid. <laughs> There's a lot of lingo that I do not understand. Big tires at that place, but not with us. But <laughs> and the boys. Well, gonna, this is just, I like that's my favorite thing. This is small tie guy. Just small tie guy. Small tie guy for you. Now is it C A R or C A H? C A H. Okay. C-A-H. 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 Yeah. Double yeah. 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 Carry, yeah. Carry it out. Yeah. 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 The, the, that's the V eight guy go to. That's just small tire car. And then the Honda guys go stock LS, Papa. Stock LS. <laughs> <laughs> no nitrous. No, no nitrous. nitrous. No stock nitrous. LS. Yeah. Yeah. No flares. bottle. No the, bottle. Yeah. Big fender flares just for looks. Yeah. 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 That's it's all. Not, it's not the high. Yeah. Tire. I don't, I'm not running a gigantic <laughs> 305 in my front tires. Some, I can't believe how big of a tire they put in some of those Civics. How how we big do they get these days? I think I've seen. I think I see most of them. Like uh, like a twenty six eight and a half. I oh guys, wow! Run, yeah. Most of them run twenty fours, but I think when they put the big Speed fenders factory, on, they run twenty sixes on that thing. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. We got a shop it not was too 20... far from us. It's got, I mean, it's the front of it's got to be twice as wide as the rear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. dude. Yes. I'll tell you what though, those Civics with the three piece front end and the Bell Axe. I really love Bell Axe. If I could daily drive on Bell Axe, I would. <laughs> Bell Axe. What is that? They're like they a, do a, a drag wheel. It's okay. a beadlock wheel. Beadlock oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I probably, right. I, I can picture what them. What are they called? Blacks? Bleaks? Bellax. Yeah, they got all those weird particle so, custom colors. Yeah. They're badass wheels. I powder yeah. coat a couple sets or pain in the ass. That company is owned by a dude. His son, fun fact, his son's name is Caleb. Caleb backwards is Bellax. Kahuna? You powder coat? I used to. Ah. I want it started again. It's just very expensive. Buy a machine? 
I could do that, but I'm gonna, <laughs> buy, I'm gonna buy a party card. He's gonna tell us to buy everything. Why you powder coat? <laughs> no, I, I need a we need idea. a powder coat. All right, let's. Uh, you buy the stuff, and I'll come work for you. <laughs> now, I need okay. some pots <laughs> of my Nova all powder coated. See? Uh, so the boys are here, and we're gonna talk about Kyle's efforts over the years to get into the Severns in particular. Uh, but before that became a goal and became a reality. Yep. Uh, many, many years ago, Kyle and I have known each other for, I think we're pushing 25 years. Are you going to age yourself like that? We're going to age ourselves like that. We were talking about it before, and it has to be at least 20 20 plus years. Why? Which, again, makes me feel even older than I already do. We're talking Volkswagen days, man. All the VW stuff. Um, Kyle was in the VW scene with me and a lot of other of other, of our friends in that same scene. I would say OGs, no? Oh, yeah, for sure. Especially in, like... Our neck of the woods, We're New talking, England, yeah, South Shore, like Gibney, and you yeah. know, uh, Owen. And yeah, the original Curtis. like high speed dubbing. Um, even um, even Brian. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a, uh, yeah, like a Mach three. Uh, I was gonna say a Mach VR three. Jetta. Yep. So uh, we all all used to do a bunch of Volkswagen stuff, <clears throat> and at some point you went from show car to drag car in I, a two liter ABA. Yep. So I always had drag racing in my, you know, I always loved watching it. Mm-hmm. And the show thing was, it was good, but it was just so boring. Yeah. And we always used to street race. So I put the show aside and. In Mexico. Always in Mexico. In Mexico. Always, always yeah. innovation, Mexico. Innovation way Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, or yeah, Route, but, um, route 24. That, just, I just wanted to do something different that no one else was doing around the area. Yeah. Street and and drag. to be fair, I said it. God damn, I said it. I didn't say to it. be fair. But I think it's the first time. Um, around our area, our neck of the woods. Drag racing and all that sort of stuff. It was always Ford and Chevy. Of course it was. And it was always Fox Body Mustang, yep. Mustangs in general, yeah. uh, and Camaros, F Bodies, things Even like when that. The, the Lightnings came out too. Right, There's right. Those were big. Tons like, I raced a few, a few Lightnings in my day. <laughs> Fat, they're fast fucking well, trucks. Oh, they are, man. They really are. They're still cool too. I, oh, I, I saw them yeah. the other day. Uh, I, I was just like, all right. such an awesome looking truck. Yeah. So there was a lot of that. So you you had a Volkswagen and decided to yeah. go down that path with that car. We uh, we did a put a turbo kit on it, and eventually you know, we gutted it out. And yeah, it became a full on yeah, front wheel drive was, drag yep, car. Yep. And, uh, um, you know, I was saying it before. We would go to dust off, and we would be the only drag car there. Yeah. yeah. You know, and everybody would just come looking at it like, what the hell is that? Right. It wouldn't make sense. No. Yeah. Because everybody's got Cause everybody VRs. Everybody like or... out or, you know, and we were just gutted, you know, yeah. had one seat in the car. And Did you do slicks? Did you start? Yeah, what we was had. The, what we was had, the natural progression? Was had, it Toyo um, 888s and then slicks? No. It was, um, I had some, I forget what kind of wheels were they were. They were like cozy K1s, I think. Yep. And I put a set of um, and Mickey Thompson 22-inch slicks on it. And we used to tires. roll on the street with those. You know? <laughs> different. Back and back then. then, that car only went like twelve zero back then. Yeah. What were the? Was, but it was it was a it was, it was a solid yeah, twelve. Yeah, that car <laughs> it was just burn a tire everywhere. Had the gusto. Was it one eight T big no, turbo? It was just ABR. Yeah. Two wheel ABA. It was a single cam eight valve. Yeah, turbo. that's cool. Wild. Yeah. When was this? Like what oh, year? God, Josh, two thousand. So when I was in PVW magazine, that was like two thousand three, four. I was gonna say it had to be around uh, two thousand four. Yeah, two thousand four. Is that of my turbo times? So yeah. I, oh, were you pooping out of your diapers I, yet? I was or? playing yeah. a lot of Halo. Okay. <laughs> back then. Yeah, I didn't. I I went turbo GSR, and I, I I thought that going fast was my life for a bit. It's. <laughs> no. We need Until that. Until you figure we, out how much need, it was. We need that quoted on the shirt. Or yeah, going. I honestly, oh when I first painted my car, I bought a top mount turbo kit. Oh boy, a bunch of shit, and I was like, I'm gonna. Can make you a go fast back car. and pull it from that cam? <laughs> yes, we can. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that would definitely be a killer shirt. Yeah, I yeah. just. Oh, <laughs> How do you, <laughs> you just muck it up the whole episode because that's such a good I can't get it out of my head. Dude, what? I, I can't get it out of my head. That was a progressional state in my build where I was like, I'm gonna build a drag car, <laughs> which quickly changed. It was good. It was fast, good. Fast. As soon as I bought a top mount turbo kit, I fucking shit myself because it was like fifteen hundred bucks for just piping and shit. Right. Yep. The, that's the thing with, with drag builds in particular, is like the amount of money oh yeah and how instantaneously it can be gone it can yeah. you can spend all winter building something and you can go to the track and just that's it, pop it. you can just do your burnout as soon as you want you can break something right it's it's like a firework it's a, it's a gamble yeah it's a gamble so you gambled with a two liter aba for quite some time yeah, we did and, um, um i ended up getting rid of that car and i ended up building my coupe 
Okay. And uh, we did an ABA 16 valve. Yep. And we put an S366 on it. Wow, I forgot about that yeah, one, right? Because that was... S366? That yeah. was short-lived, right? That was only um, a couple of years. I had that car for maybe two, three years. Okay. Um, we could keep a transmission in that car. I had an AP <laughs> tuning gear stack in that car. Four, it was a converted to a four-speed. Yep. And um, that car made 520 back then. Wow. And... You put that thing in fourth gear on the highway, <laughs> the thing would just lace the tires. <laughs> I remember taking a couple guys for rides in it, and they would like, I would never go back in that car ever again. Yep. You would just be like on the highway, just like, yeah, dude, spinning it, the tires. At, at 500 horsepower in a small gutted car. We'd yeah. Skip with, we would take it on the street with the slicks, too. Did it, would it, what was in it for a dip? Did it keep straight, or so would it just? Pe- I had a Peloquin diff in it, but the thing was just fighting for traction, so it was just going side It was going to do right. whatever, it yeah. Left and right. It was fighting for traction. Dude, because... Yeah. I had a small, like, literal 180T turbo setup, probably made, like, 300, if that. Yeah. I mean, it was, like, 12 pounds. I went for a ride in my buddy's car that went 10s. It was, like, 580 horsepower, I think it made. And he took me for a ride in the street, and I quite literally fucking, my guts came out of my ass. <laughs> it's so violent. I was yeah. like, how is it this crazy? Right. It's right. only a couple hundred horsepower. Yeah. And that's what people, This and we're going to get into this. When people are like, oh, you just go service, it's just more money. It's not. Oh. It's a lot. To be so, with you, to, to go fast at anything nowadays, it just takes knowledge. Yep. You I, know, know, that's way more valuable than, yeah. right, the cash. Because you could have an endless piggy bank. Exactly. If you don't, you don't know what right, you're doing. The way I look at it, if you don't have the right people in your corner helping you, yep. it's not, you're just yeah, going to be, you're just going to fail. Which, which says a lot for your accomplishment alone, because again, it's not just like, oh, yeah. He wrote a check, no, and by I, no means is that you no, at all. We, we've done everything, everything in my garage. Um, basically, my buddy Wayne's shop has yep. been. You know, he's done tons of work for me, even with my Volkswagens. Yep, I was gonna say big shouts to Wayne. Know, I, yeah. I, I, I gotta get Wayne, Wayne in here someday. Yeah, we gotta put Wayne on here. Yeah. Yeah. Wayne's get, Wayne is another person. Wayne he's is uh, been my friend since eighth grade. Exactly, and he he, I could have told you back then that. He's extremely now. Put it this way: he was fixing mopeds and dirt bikes in eighth grade, like in his basement. That's what we were doing. He's probably one of the smartest guys I've known. Yeah, and he just dives right into it, and he's not afraid to do nothing. Yeah, you give him something, he'd be like, "I'm just gonna do it." Yeah, he'll sort it out. Yep, and he's so humble about everything too. Yeah, oh yeah, he doesn't. We need to get him back out racing. Yeah, Wayne, if you're listening, let's get that 240 out here. Finish his car, man. He's building a serious killer right now. I was gonna say he's got an S14 240 with a twin turbo LS single. Single turbo LS, that thing's a be gigantic a turbo that LS. That thing's gonna be a killer. Okay, yeah. he's um he's got the best of the best in that car too. And yeah, obviously this guy's gonna be tuning it. So yeah, the yeah, car is gonna be a killer. Yeah, that thing's got an IDRS, you know, uh, rear end in it. Yeah, so it's got nine inches both. Basically, it's a uh, Fox body. Just tri- pull that right towards you. It's got Sorry. a Fox body triangulated four link in yeah. that two forty from IDRS. That thing is I'm I'm excited to yeah tune on that thing. It's gonna be that thing is gonna, gonna be, be badass. Sick. So you had the coupe, the Jetta coupe. Yep. So. At what point, when you switch to your next platform, was that relative to, all right, I want to go faster and front wheel drive is not going to do it? Or was that relative to, hey, I'm a Subaru mechanic and I really know these cars? I've always liked the uh, Blob Isle style STI. Yep. And I had an opportunity to buy it from my friends uh, at the Subaru shop. Yep. So I ended up buying it and Jay and Craig were with me for a while until I got rid of the platform. But um, that was a fun car. You know, uh, we went really fast with that car. I was going to say, what did you... We ended up holding the 64mm record for Subaru, uh, 64mm record in the United States for like three years. 64 mil, is that... 64mm turbo size. Okay, turbo size. Yeah, we held that record for, I want to say, three years. Wow. Yeah, we were the fastest one in the U.S. And what was that time My Subaru. I went 9.2 at 150. Yeah. That's fast. You never see fast Subaru. So, and that car was fun to drive, man. But again, it was just, we were just at that limit. I was had a stock six speed in it, and I was at the limit of either put a dog box in it or yep. just do something else. Yeah, and I saw the other my other buddy doing it. He was just breaking shit. I was gonna say, it got to that point, right? Was just you can breaking shit. Yeah, and lifting heads, and I just didn't want to deal with that anymore. Yep, right, because that money invested in another platform. Exactly, uh, you could. And I was trying to go eights with it. You know, we did a badass motor with it. You know, I changed the intake manifolds. We put a front mounted turbo on it, and um. Just didn't do it for me anymore. At what point in this did you have to get your licenses sorted? Was it with the Subaru? With the Subaru. So we fought to go 990 with the Subaru, and we were doing it on a stock block with just pistons and rods. 
And um, we ended up going 990 with it, and um, I ended up going for my license with it. Wow. And we got my license in the Subaru. No kidding. It's yeah. at a certain mile per hour. It's 990, 135. You need That's to get an NHRA license. Yeah. So I was able to do it. And uh, we went to a bunch of IFO races, and we were winning the uh, street class all the time. Yep. We went to Lebanon Valley, New Hampshire, and we would take, we would take the win every single time we went. And we purposely built that car for that event. And people would be pissed. Because they, as soon as they seen us roll in, they'd be like, "Oh, there goes that class." Right, right. It was a right. force induction sport class. Yeah, and um, we oh, would we would kill it. In that that's class. still SFWD. It's FIS, I think. Oh, SF, SFIS. Yeah. And um, yeah, we like I said, we killed it in that class. And how long did you run with that platform? We had that car for five years, six years. Okay, so a pretty yeah, lengthy it was, time. It was quite some time. Yeah, yeah. really good. I had tons of fun in that car, man. Yeah, it Do was you, it was crazy to drive, dude. Um, I'm sure you've seen some of the old I, videos. That's what I was going to say. That I remember watching the videos. Just, yeah. I never lifted on that car, man. I the, just, it just, that's what always fascinated. The, I think the most fascinating part to me about Subarus is when they hold themselves together yeah. in a drag spec between the launch and that first to second. It's yeah. just like, how can this take this much this much abuse. That car had a stock rear end and an R180 in it. Get I just the had, fuck out of here, dude. I had a DSS rear axles and I had stock 05 axles in the front. And it was wow. a stock six speed with a twin disc and yep. had a um, custom made um, transfer gear, straight cut transfer gear in it to drive yep. the rear and wheels. You never yep. popped your disc? Um, had a carbon fiber dry shaft in it. And that was it. And I had spec to drive um, custom drag suspension yep. that was spec for the car. And that was it, man. I just drove the shit out of that car. Yeah, serious, because it right. I it, drove the shit out of that uh, car. Like it, I, that car was pretty consistent. You know, I would go nine twos, nine threes. Yeah. You know, and the car was like I said, consistent. I had a lot of fun with it, but it, it just got to a level. I was trying to chase eights with it. Right. Right. And I think I probably would have had to. Do it, like so you said, switching shit. to that dog box, it just. Yeah, I don't even think that would have done it. And that, that brings know. you to the next tier of all right, what other components S- am I going to have to yeah, replace on a exactly. regular basis? The engine. <laughs> Well, that's the uh, right, that's right. Now you're looking at, yeah, uh, all those components in that drive lane that could survive. Maybe now they can't. So it, would you say that, like, breaking shit, launching has to do with, like, the driver not preloading shit? So I had a stage of breaking, I think, so I definitely would preload it. Um, it helped. I got to learn how to drive and preload it. That car was pretty consistent with the 60 foots, too. And uh, we did some no-time events with it, too, at a New England no-time. Yeah. And um, I remember one time I almost took out the number one qualifier. Huh. It was from Speed Hub. Um, it was a slow walk. Yeah. And I, the vet? Yeah, the vet. I almost literally took him out. And after that, all those guys would respected me. Yeah. You know, they used to call me one, two, three, go guy. Because before the, 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 before the race that we went, I was counting how long it took to turn green. Because it was instant green. And I counted three seconds. I was like, I'm going to go on three. And as soon as I let, saw the green, it was already, I was already going. Yeah. And I was out on him. He just outpowered me. <clears throat> right, right. He literally beat me by half a car. Which is, And that yeah, car was making probably over a thousand horsepower. Game which the tree, is wild. Yeah. yeah. So after that, those guys were like respecting me. So that was the path leading up to, did you know you wanted to switch to Mustang I, platform? So to be honest with you, hanging out with Wayne yep. really wanted me to... Um, move forward with the LS platform. So just LS before I wanted, even. Yes, I didn't. To be honest with you, I was going to LS the uh, the Subaru. <laughs> Hell yeah! I was going to real world drive the Subaru with an LS in it. But then I thought to myself, it was going to cost way too much. Yeah. Time and effort and money to full link the car and everything else. So that's when I said, you know. What? Now there's kits for it, dude. Yeah. Now there's full subframe kits it's, for it. My friend Cody's doing one. It's still you can't beat the just, box, buddy. It just yeah. it's, it's I was really just saying. Drop and go. Yeah, it's, and there's yeah. got to be so much support and aftermarket, so just ready yeah. off yes. the shelf, ready. You know, like it, we have nothing special in my car right now. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing special in that car. Yeah, we still we got stock torque boxes in the car. <laughs> no kidding. You know, I just reinforced them. So you decided finally. All right. So yep, I, I want to go so faster. We um we ended up going to a no time race, and uh, what really did it for me was um I launched the car with a new setup. I didn't even get to make any passes, and it broke the dry shaft. Yeah, yeah the carbon dry shaft. And after that, on the way home, I told my wife, I says, I'm done with the car. Yeah. I literally said, I'm done with it. I don't want to see myself spending any more money on this car because I'm just going to keep on breaking shit, just trying to chase a number that I know it's going to be so hard to do. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to anybody. I want to go eight in the worst way in that car. Yeah. I want to prove a point that I could do it with a stock transmission. And yeah. But it was just not going to happen. 
how did she feel about all the she, up to that point all the cars? She never really bothers me. Yeah, you just know. into it. Sometimes, mm. yeah, she she's definitely into it. You know, she's always into it. Right now, she doesn't go to the track with me. Yeah, because we have nobody to watch the dogs. Yeah, but every time we make a pass or before I make a pass, I'm always calling her and making sure, and she always wants to make sure I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, for which sure. Which I totally uh, respect it. You know, I, but honestly, to be man, fair, you're she going. Don't bother, she don't bother me at all. Yeah, you know, I found a good one, man. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's, it's, um, but yeah, so she, she said you could do whatever you want. Yeah. So we ended up parting the car out. Did you, was it easy to part out? One person bought the whole drivetrain and the car still to this day is actually at the shop. Uh, Jay Perry's uh, son-in-law yeah. has, has the car now. Oh, no kidding. And he's going nine seventies with the car. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's so still, it still hasn't gone as fast as I have, Yeah, but he's. You know, it's still in the nines. Yeah, it's you can't just, still you can't just buy a driver mod, no. baby. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, you know, it's um, it's kind of cool to see. But he, yeah. he changed the car totally up now. It's actually got a paint job because my car was vinyl wrapped. Yep. Matte black. It was all murdered out. Right, It's cool right, that right. he made it his own. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he made it his own. It's more of a you street car now. He, I actually gutted the doors, and he actually put doors on it now with windows and I stuff. I saw videos of your car, 100%. If it was yeah. flat black. It was flat black. Yeah, it had a drag wing on it, black wheels. Everything was just black. I remember a friend of mine was... Because I was back in that, what was this was like back when you were trying to live the life of speed. Yeah. Yeah. What was this like? Two, late two thousands. No. No, this would have been About five years, six years ago. Yeah. Okay, it was like all right. So it was later. So my friend Mike had an STI, and I'm like, just buy a drift car or something else because he wanted to go fast. He had an issue with his. He had to rebuild the whole motor. He's like, it's gonna be like twelve grand. I'm like, dude, just buy another car, any other car. That will go fast. And he showed me a video of your car. Yeah. And he's like, they could go fast. I'm like, okay, but that's. We would be the only ones at the track running like nines. Everybody was like. I'm like, that's the only know? car on Instagram that's running nines, brother. Like yeah. just buy, you could buy a Corvette and do a big, big turbo if you want to spend 10 grand on a motor. Then I was grand. like, you're going to need trans. You can't, that. A, you can't even get a good motor for 10 grand on a Subaru. Yeah. This was literally not even, I don't think it was sleeved. Maybe it was sleeved, but he had to do like heads and stuff because his were all scored up. Yeah. It's like, dude, to spend that much money, you still have so much other stuff to do. It's not cheap to build a Subaru. It's not cheap and, to go and, fast. And it literally like time bombs sometimes. Yeah. You know, um, it is what it is. To like, to really dive, like if you're going to build a, like a 10 second bracket car is a completely different ball game than if you're trying to build a seven second vehicle. Right, so I, I think it's easy to build a, to be honest with you, a V eight and Alex can relate to this than a four cylinder. Yes, I would agree. It's, it's just because you your your foundation you, that you're you know, building off you, of. You know, you're at the displacement. So yeah, yeah, you can't be it. Yeah, you can't be the displacement at all. You just, you just. I'm a diehard import guy. I want another two forty. Yeah, but when it comes to going fast, it's like everybody says, no replacement for displacement. I used to, you know, it's, argue it with, oh, I got a turbo. Right, right. And then they go, hey, I got one too. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's. The, I mean, you can make that argument for the the car in the picture behind you that that S fourteen, the the motor in that E thirty M three, amazing piece of jewelry nowadays oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. and and in order to like if you wanted to make big numbers out of that thing it's, it's it. impossible it's the, the money it would take yeah. that's what it comes down like again across the wall over there we have an ls block that Corey can make a thousand horsepower probably in a weekend yeah, with, yeah with you the, i mean there's guys that literally was it like the that track thing that was that cletus was running it was like the run what you brung yeah. Yeah. yeah and some kid literally just went out there and was running like eights or nines in a some whatever vehicle it was, and they were like, "Well, what is this?" He's like, "Stock, stock six liter." Yeah, that's the thing. It's so like, "What'd you do to it?" He's like, "Pulled it out of the truck in the junkyard, threw it in this car, cleaned it out with E eighty five, and put a massive turbo on it." <laughs> that's it. It don't take much. You could just take one, you know, head gasket, some head bolts, you know, a cam and some springs and retainers, and that's kind of all people really do. That's the sauce to get them to make a thousand. It's like the best motor, best platform, very cheap to make a thousand. Yeah. Once you surpass that thousand mark, it gets expensive because yeah. now you need pistons, you need rods. Yeah. You know, and you get you got you can't start cheaping out on the hardware. You got to buy the, the pro series studs. You got to start you know spending a little bit of money to make the thousand mark is very easy. A Gen four motor, you can make that all day long. It just once you want to make the, a little bit past that, that's when it starts to cost money. Where did you want to start with the LS? You you. I you was, knew you wanted to go LS first, right? Honestly, I thought I was just going to do a stock motor. Yeah. Just 
I think everybody does. Off. Yeah. I think everybody but obviously, does. you know. Watching, uh, just pull that thing right in front of you. There you go. Obviously, watching, you know, Wayne build all these other cars. Yeah. I'm like, screw this. I'm just going to go all out. <laughs> so we ended up um, building a six liter. Yeah. Um, stock block, stock crank, and just pistons and rods. Basic, basic, off the shelf, Summit Pro LLS stuff. Stock cylinder heads. And um, I had my machine shop do it up. Yep. Did you have, did you start work on the motor? Did you already have the chassis and stuff? So I ended up getting the, the chassis first. Okay. Um, it was just a roller. I ended yep. up buying the car of Jordan Salvador. Oh, no kidding. Okay. That yeah, car came from Jordan Salvador. Yeah. A matter of fact, a past guest of ours. Yeah. And um, he wasn't doing anything with it. And uh, when I sold the Subaru, I said, hey, what are you going to do with the car? He's like, oh, I don't know. I'll let you know. Then like two weeks later, he says, oh, I'll just sell it to you. So I ended up buying that car. Yeah. You wanted a Fox though, or you just saw it and you were like, I knew I'll do that. I wanted to build something that I knew was going to be, you know, proven. Right. So, you, uh, yeah. you start bodies, with a good chassis exactly. no matter what. Fox yeah. bodies just work. Yeah. And luckily they look sick also. To be honest with you, <laughs> when I was younger, I used to fucking hate them. Same here. Same I, with I, the, like, like, I would never own one of them things. Back then. Most things are lame. Yeah. Again, we're talking, you know, in our and, Volkswagen exactly. days. If somebody told me I was going to drive a look Mustang ever. Now. Look exactly. at you both now. Never in a million years. Look at you all. You know, from going from an import to guy to, you know, trying to have been one of the most popular drag Domestic, cars. right, yeah. right. And, you know, it was a cool color, too, because it was Calypso. Yeah. Awesome color. And that's so it's, good. It's the color to have. So I'm like, yeah. and the car was super, super clean, dude. Yep. And that car was, you know, the car spotless. Yeah. So it was yeah, like it a no-brainer. truly is. It was a no-brainer. So I think I had the car for like two weeks without doing anything with it, and it just progressed and progressed and progressed. How long did the initial build? How much time did you so spend I on the initial build? So I took about a year and a half okay. to build a car. Then that's when I was friends with him already. And um, I asked him, because I knew he was starting to tune Holly stuff. And I told him I was going to do some Holly, and I wanted him to tune the car. Yep. And I think I was like, what, the third person you tuned? And I just had confidence in him. How did, how did when did you decide you wanted to start tuning stuff? Um, Make sure I, you get right on that thing too. Yeah, probably about I brought my first one. Uh, I got out of the car stuff. I sold my S14, probably 2015. Okay. And I tell myself, you know, what? I'm taking a break from cars. And my buddy of mine, a couple of years later, started building a Fox body. He kept asking me to come over and help him work on the car. I said, no, because if I work on it, I'm going to want one again. <laughs> start to get the itch, right? I finally caved in, helped him on his car. Two weeks later, we're buying a car. We're <laughs> buying a car. Dude, that, that is not long at all. Yeah. So, <laughs> you twisted my arm. Yeah, here. seriously. Yeah, so I immediately knew I was going to go LS, Holly. And I'm one of those kind of people that I, I have a hard time relying on other people to do stuff for me. I like yep. to be self-sufficient. Yep. Because I, I just, I hate bothering people. I really hate bothering people. That's Or, or waiting on somebody, you know what I mean? It's not even the waiting. I hate, I feel like every time I call somebody for something, I feel like I'm inconveniencing them. Yeah, yeah, I get so, it. So... You know, so that's what I sound like when I call them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I probably I started tuning it. I got some help. I reached out to uh, this guy uh, Scott Clark. He's a uh, real tuner's LLC. Mm-hmm. He uh, when I put my car together the first time, he had did a remote tune for me. And then after that, we built a relationship. You know, I had asked him a lot of questions. You know, I, he, he taught me a lot of knowledge, and I learned a lot from him. And then I started just doing it on my own, and then you know from there on, I just kept you know advancing it, advancing it. You know, I took some of the classes. You know, learned, got some knowledge in that. And yep. Best way to do it is to learn in your own car because I'm not here to learn on somebody else's car and break their shit. Right, the I risk. Be, yeah, I don't want to be that guy. Yeah, for sure. Like if I'm tuning somebody's car, I will tune it to make power. Yeah, but I, I still give them a cushion. I'm not there to you know get every last ounce. Like yeah. some people want to go to the dyno and they want that big dyno sheet stretch number. it too thin. Right. I go. I don't care about that dyno number. I go. We just want a nice good tune up in it so we can go to the track, start making hits. Yep. Clean passes. Then we just creep up on it, turn it up. Turn and that's it up, exactly what up. we did. Yeah. Learn more from there. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And it was through my car, I got to learn a lot because I used to street drive my car, so I'd be tuning drivability, cold start, and just that's the, that's the important stuff you know that a lot of people don't do. Most people go take the car to a dyno, they'll tune wide open throttle, and then they'll and take the it. car home and the car starts like shit, drives like shit in traffic. Yeah. And yeah, it's bunking and shit. Yeah. yeah. No part throttle yeah, tune. Nothing. But I'd be nothing. driving my car in the street for a year and a half. I used to drive my car to the track. Run 550s at 131 miles an hour. That eighth drive mile. A, We're eighth talking mile, eighth mile. Yeah. And drive a car home. The car would go in the eights, and I would literally drive it there and drive it home. <laughs> like, I didn't even own a trailer. I bought a trailer last year. It was the first time I even owned a trailer. Right, right. So, I, I'm all about, like, drag and drive. I, I like that. Like, like, my new car, I went a little too far now. I kind of ruined it, so I bought another Mustang. Yeah. So, I'm building another turbo Mustang for the street. 
For the street. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it's no fun just trailering something to the track and not actually enjoying it. It's it's too much too much work. Yeah. So much yeah, you, work and you, don't, you don't enjoy it. You're working for the car. Pretty much. Right. The fruits of your labor. Yeah. yeah. You want to get some more enjoyment other than that pass. It's cool yeah. to have two cars because now you can street drive. And let's say you just don't win the street race. But like, I'll fucking go home and I will come back with something you won't like. So <laughs> <laughs> let's all fucking relax. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So the, the timing of everything was pretty good then he was, was. kind of getting his feet under him with, with the tuning stuff and familiarity with the platform so you were a willing participant so after about i would say maybe the two-year mark it was like right towards the end of the year we ended up going to the dyno with the car yeah so two years before it um two years into the build before it's seen any build, track and, or and never even saw the track yet okay um and was that just because did you have the... It just took a little longer than I expected to build because I wanted everything to be almost like perfect. This guy's a perfectionist. Yeah. So I didn't yeah. just want to like sloppy shit everywhere. Well, to be to be honest, like your car looks... It's a show yeah. car. Immaculate. Yeah. It's right. a show for, car for, that for runs a, fast. Right. For a car that runs sevens, it's not like, just, let me slap this together I, just, I just to get the like time. I just don't like the sloppy shit. Yeah. Even with the Subaru and my Volkswagen stuff, everything was like neat and stuff. Yeah. So finally, we, we knew that we were done and um, we went to the dyno and we didn't really hit it hard. What did we make that? Did we run? I think we ran like sixteen pounds. Sixteen, but I think it made like eight something. Yeah, we made like I think like eight, eight, <laughs> 20, eight something. Like just a, pounds. not much. Just and, a sneeze. Um, and, just and we a were brisk, like, brisk we were like, all right, let's go to the track. So like two weeks later, we ended up going to the track, and um, the first which which to me, it's probably a good thing. thing. I almost said it, but it's probably a good thing because like. You're in a new platform. Yeah. And a I platform you've never, yeah. I'm sure you've driven you on the street. Out, but let's like, go 1200 hours. <laughs> <and>, uh, <laughs> that's what I mean. Like, see what see the fuck what, is up, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we just we just went to the track. And um, the first couple passes, I think the first two passes, I think we spun the tire. Yeah. Um, suspension, you know. So we did. he did a couple of changes with the suspension. Then the first full pass with the car, it went 9-0. Faster than the Subaru ever went. <laughs> right. Like, what the fuck? Like, I was, like, blown away. Yeah, I, and it still went, like, 150-something. I think 154 miles an hour. Holy I think we shit. Were at, like, I think we were at, like, 15 pounds in the yeah. past. We just, wow. just yeah. trying to ease them and just get them And, I, like, when I got the times up and I looked at it, I'm like, 9-0? Was that... How did that feel? It was Be like, like... I was like, holy fuck. Like, this is insane. Was like, it I should have been doing this yes, years ago? I do. I do. Yeah, he came you back. Know. He's like, dude, that was like the smoothest thing ever. Yeah. It was like driving... I felt like I was driving store. on the road. Right. It was right. straight as an arrow. Then I don't even know if we did anything else to it. Then we went up the next pass. We turned it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we turned it up a hair. Yeah. And it went 890. Now when... Second full pass enough. Now when you're turning it up, uh, do you already have a map... Yeah, like sometimes I have a map. Depends on, on the car. Like now, I have a bunch of tunes for his car. Yeah, I saved. So if it's a good track, if it's you know slippery. Yeah. So but at that time, we were just creeping up on the boost. Make the okay. Yeah, bring okay. in a little more boost. You know, just put a little. I think. We put and here big, I am, still learning how to drive the car. Are the right. File right. names appropriate. Is it like slippery track? Yeah. Fast track. I got different names <laughs> for it. Yeah. So people, so if somebody looks at my laptop and they don't really get it. Yeah. <laughs> what's what's this file name? Meatloaf. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> why, why is this tune called uh, Deep Dickin? Nah, I, 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 label, I, label, I label them with numbers, like one being a really good track and like five being a crappy track. Uh, that's that's a, a really good, yeah, that's a really good it's, way to yeah, do it's it. A good actually, way to... Instead of our immature fucking yeah. ding dong. You're lining them up and he's like, hey, what tune's on this? You're like, level one. <laughs> <laughs> and his yeah, eyes just stage two. All he sees his eyes widen in the. In the Okay. But it's, it's better than Ford. I recently learned that my ECU, its code name is like Spanish Oak, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's, that's hilarious. quite good. So uh, one second. Ben yeah. M had a good question that I was actually going to ask that's myself. That's my buddy Ben, man. He's the only Subaru guy I still talk to till this day. Ben is actually really, really close. It's, he, he's a great guy. He's got a good ben. question. He's I'm happy he asked dude. it because I was going to yeah. ask it uh, if, if we didn't get to it. But how different from a track driving standpoint did you find it when you changed from an all-wheel drive platform uh, to the real wheel drive, the Fox body. It's easy, but it's boring. So the real wheel drive is boring. So you're, the real wheel drive, you just hold the trans brake, you bump it, and you just let go of the trans brake. And now that we hooked up the air shifter, I literally just hold the steering wheel and it shifts by itself. <laughs> That's pretty wild. The Subaru it was like hold the stage and brake, let the clutch up a little bit until it grabs. You got a lot just, going you know, on. Yeah, you have so much going on. Yeah. And try not to, you know, don't dump the clutch. You got to ride the clutch out. Yeah. Yep. Then you got to wait till you, you know, see the shift light come on and you shift gears. And it's just like. Which to me, riding the clutch in a Subaru that makes seven or eight hundred. So that car, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it made 735 was the most it made. Which is like, 
or yeah, let me ride this out as the yeah. thing's tearing the pavement. Exactly. It's just not a very. Well, you can get like I know street. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Look at Eric. That's a good question. <laughs> What's the name of that fast My street? My wife. Easy Street. What's this fucking fast guys called? <laughs> what? 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 You're right. What's happening here? Street. I think oh, he just suffered. He's talking about real street. Real, real, real street. street. Real Thank street. you. Real easy street. street. Easy street. <laughs> easy ride. I didn't know easy where ride. he's going. With he's this. thinking about the Easy Rider magazine. Yeah, over yeah. Here. They, they they made some weird fucking like clutch release oh, thing. Oh, the slipper clutch. Yeah, yeah, when you dump yeah. it, it has a uh, valve okay. that yeah. slowly lets so, you in. Yeah. It's Corey has one. His uh his his uh turbo Camaro. Yeah, his Camaro. He's got a six speed turbo Camaro. He actually pulled it off because we we're actually thinking that it's been doing a delay on the shift. I'm, we were yelling at him, hey, "Stop granny shifting!" He goes, and we watched the video. He's actually banging the gears. We're thinking that the release, it's like the, the valving in it is slowing it's it such down. A delay on. Yeah, yeah. So he took it out. He hasn't been back up the track yet, but I'm thinking it's looking to look promising. I, I think that's that was definitely hurting it. Yeah. I feel like, dude, you need a front. I mean, you need a sport front wheel drive Civic. No, I think you do. You no. just said that you missed everything that a sport front wheel drive Civic no, is. No, I don't miss that. <laughs> I don't miss it. Trying to, you know, it's just it was just too much going on at once. It's yeah. a lot of shit, Way dude. Too much going. On. I I just picture it. I think I've said this before. It's like operating like a steam train. It was. You know, you like pulling valves and do it, and just like yeah, when all you, while. And I believe Ben was there that night. We went to a street night. And um, I was literally all over the track. Yeah. I almost crossed the center, almost hit the wall, and I stood in it. <laughs> I'm like, fuck this, I'm staying in it. You know, that's how I was because the way I looked at it is I never lifted because I think if you lift, that's when you're going to disaster. Yeah. yeah. So I just stood yeah. in it. I just drove through it. Yeah. I just drove through it. It definitely upsets the chassis. I've stopped, when I first watched some of his videos driving the Subaru, I'm like, holy shit, this dude's using the whole track. Like, yeah. He's going from center line to the yeah. wall. He things like... So, just all of it and just never lifts. I feel just like all-wheel drive it. like does crazy shit like that. It walks more than Ooh. more than real world drive. drive I, guess, crazy. I guess Corey's gonna be a uh, clutchless four speed. He's going on. <laughs> oh hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love how you just got so excited about that. Oh, that, I'm, I'm, Ooh, I, am, I am excited. excited. Uh oh, no. speed more speed. No, that, I'm excited for that. <laughs> um. Uh, ben says I, I have that video. <laughs> I'd love to see it. Yeah, yeah, I feel like they hop, especially like short. The Civics hop a little bit. So the shit. Subaru did hop when I didn't have the right suspension. So Ben actually hooked me up with STM up in New York. They did um, some drag spec um, suspension for the car. And after that, the car never hopped. It literally squatted. And I have a couple videos of the right front tire actually coming off the ground. Is it a matter of stiffness or yeah. finding that? So um, it's a little bit balance. Yeah. It was a little bit of both, I would say. Okay. You know, the rear suspension was really soft because we really wanted the back tires to plant. Because on the Subaru, I feel like it's re almost rear-wheel drive versus front-wheel drive. Yep, yep. I know, like, at least for front-wheel drive, a lot of the guys, because Blocks was the number one drag suspension that everybody was going to, they're like 14K or 18K rear. Mm -hmm. So you'd watch all these Civics take off, and they'd be like, Bang! and, like, the rear would just stand up. Yep. And... Their 60 foots were ass, but that's all they were running. So you get like a eight, 900 horsepower car with a one six, 60 foot. It's terrible. Terrible. Yeah, terrible yeah. Yeah. So then somebody was like, I'm going to try soft in the rear. All of a sudden, we're cutting one threes, one fours. Right. That's, yeah. And that's a lot in the yeah. 60 foot. That's huge. Yeah. Chassis setup is huge. It's like, it's been a long learning curve for me. Yep. You go, I always ran a slick. Last year for all my car for the first time, I put on a set of radials and I, couple of passes I put on. I've learned, and on Kyle's car, I've learned a bunch. So we've definitely made a bunch of progress on the radial. Yep. And that's what we run on that car. Okay. A radial. But we're switching to a slick. Yeah. We're going to do, we're going to try to do some no prep stuff now. Okay. You know, I, um, I got what I wanted. I, mean, so I wanted to go so sevens with it. I was going to say, um, let's, let's kind of We are going to do some more quarter mile racing. Uh, maybe towards the end of the year, we can see what it does again. But, um. <laughs> My goal was to go 790s with the car. And you did. And we did. Just last week, right? Just last Sunday. Just, <laughs> which is yeah. wild. And two weeks before that, um, I had a little issue with one of the cylinder heads. Uh, it was just dripping water. I had a little porous on the side of the cylinder head, and it was just dripping water. So I took the car apart, and um, the car was like apart two weeks before that. Yeah. yeah. yeah it Slapped it back together, and, you know. What got, did the problem end up being? It was a porous mark on the side of the cylinder head. It was just dripping water. Yeah, there was a crack. Not, no, we didn't lift the heads, folks. 
No. It was on the side of the head uh, above the spark plug chamber, and there was a crack, and it was actually leaking from there. He actually pulled the heads off last year. We thought it was coming through the threads on one of the head studs. Yep. So we put some RTV in it, and uh, that still was still getting that drip. And at the track that day, I guess it got worse, and we were actually spraying. It was getting a little puddle under the car. Oh, wow. Yeah, so then he t- we went back to the pits, took the wheel off, and Kyle found it. Yeah, we found the crack right above cylinder head. Yeah. On cylinder five, I mean. Do you weld there or just replace the head? We replaced the cylinder head. Yeah, yeah I feel it's yeah. a stock head. I have a stock 317 head on it, so it's a truck head. Yeah. I so love actually, that. I called up Wayne, and Wayne had a set. <laughs> just of course, it, yeah. resurfaced already, and I swapped all my good valve springs in the car. Yeah. Literally right in the garage. Um, I, I lapped the valves in, and we sent it home. Before you got to your goal, you were in it for about two years. Yes. So starting to make your first passes, got into the 9-0. Then we went 890s, second full pass. Yeah. Then that was the end of the year. Um, it was like towards the end of the year. Do yeah. you, just out of curiosity with both of you, do you prefer a time of year to run? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, October at New England Dragway is like clutch. Okay. Because we'd go up there in the morning, the DAs be like negative. Yeah. Like, you know, come, we'd, we'd be racing at like noon on like on the weekends, and the DA would still be like negative 300. Yeah. So the turbo cars, I love that. Tur- you know, that's how you make power, you know. Yeah. Yeah, fall. Summertime, like summer, you go in the summertime in August, sometimes the DAs at the track, we're talking like humid day is like 4,000. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it, really, it really slows you down. It does. It slows you down, but it is what you got to deal I with. I think the DA was 2,400 when we went at 790. <laughs> Yeah. So, which is pretty good, uh, still considering. You know, right, the right. Was terrible that day. Um, so, you're into it. You're chasing times. What are some of the changes that you made over the... You so, know? believe it or not, I wasn't even chasing any of those times before. I think we were just trying to go A50s with the car. Yeah. And we did that very easily. Like, so, then, once you did that, it was are just, you... It was just like, okay, let's see how fast and faster we can go. It's like finding your max at the Yeah, day. so... Yeah. It, we, we, we actually had, because he had the uh, VS Turbo on it, because he never had any intentions of going really fast. But, like I said, we got the 850. I'm like, you know what? Let's keep pushing us little turbos. Let's see what it can do. Yep. You know, we went 840s, 30s, 20s, 80. He actually reached out to the guy, Vern, from VS, and he said, we we're actually holding the record with that turbo yeah. for the fastest time with that turbo. No kidding. Yeah. So he was, like, blown away. He's so, like, I can't believe how fast you're going with that turbo. So at that point, you're just continuing to push it, get lower and lower. As soon as we went 8.0, I was like, this thing's got to go 7. So that that's what I yeah. just wasn't sure. Like, okay, this is yeah. where it. Because it was going 8.0, 170, 8.0, 168. I probably have 10, probably 10 8 slips. Yep. And the car was just consistent. Everybody would call it an 8.0 bracket car. Right, right. Because no matter what right, we did. As you mentioned. Yeah, because, and again, there's so many things that need to come together. Yeah. Not oh, ju- yeah. just because we were talking about a- a- atmospheric conditions can play a role on it. Yep. It's it's and just it, the parts that we have in the car too. Yeah. You know, um and obviously him, he's a huge factor of the car. It's just um, Do you are you are you tuning it for the whole track? I, I now I am tuning it for the whole track. So I'm actually pretty soft on the front half tune up. Okay. Because just because I know he's staying in it the whole trip, the yep. whole quarter mile. Yeah. Now you're your your thought process truly is between car and driver. Right. Not just because we're flying, man. Yeah, yeah. It's it's more like a different driver in that car. You potentially think you would tune it differently. Um, absolutely. Okay. Like, I, yeah. I look at people's driving styles and how you know how the attentive they are to what the car is doing. Yep. Like Kyle, I tell him if the car does anything, any bucking, any something weird, just let out. Just abort to pass. Yep. You now we will just find out and you know and fix what the problem is instead of staying in it. Some people stay in it, the cow, but they pop, 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 bucking. And that can lead to it. yeah. That's yeah. If something's wrong. That can easily break something. Yep. Um. That I find, and again, I was just kind of asking that because it's such a good example of how like intricate it can be. Oh yeah. You know, when we're talking tenths of a second differentials here and going from an eight zero to to a seven nine, it was huge. Everything that everything is is a factor, and it's. Yeah. To, to get this involved and think about it, it and, and something that happens so fast, it's crazy. It it's is. awesome. So when you let go of that button, like the first time I actually ever felt the G's the car was pulling, after the pass, I got to him and I said, hey, something wasn't right. I, I got kind of like queasy and my eyes started getting blurry. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God, dude. Yeah, that first time I was going to ask you, time, did you come back like yeah, this? Yeah, dude, it really fucked me up the first time because I, I, I never experienced that. Right. It felt like, this is exactly how I can tell, everybody tells me, oh, how's it feel? 
it feels like a roller coaster. You know that queasy feeling you get in yeah. your stomach? Yeah. Then that blurred vision of like, what the fuck? Because parts of your body are moving faster Seriously, than other parts got, of your body. That, you know, and I'm obviously getting used to the car now. Yeah. So, but the first couple times I was like, what the hell? Are man? you ever really used to it? Um, at at so a certain. Th- so that that's goes to show you right now. So the first pass off the trail, I went 8 on Sunday. Yeah. And of course it felt fast. Then the second pass when it went 790, I didn't even know when it went 790 because it yep. felt like the same pass. Mm-hmm. When like, you drive like a 300 horsepower car now, though, aren't you like, this is dog shit? Yeah, it just <laughs> feels like nothing. I, just, I don't know. I don't really drive too many cars around anymore. Yeah. But you're so, like, yeah, you probably like when I drive my truck or something. Yeah, you know, I don't rip on my truck or anything, but right, that's just know, a different. it's a different feeling from that car yeah. to, to anything else. Uh, that car has a purpose. Yeah, exactly. And it's to, you know, rip okay. your eyes out of your skull. <laughs> but I can literally turn the turn the car on and drive down the road with the car. Which is still yeah, and yeah. you which you did when when yeah. I photographed it uh last year. Yeah. Um I drive it. it. It's just wild. Yeah. It's just absolutely wild. So what's the next? Is the next is there a number next? Is there is there okay, we got this. Let's make this the best we can with a change of tire and then my goal is to go four four nineties, four eighties in the eighth now. We went five oh at a hundred almost hundred and forty in the eighth. We go, we go five oh five oh two. Yeah, five oh two. So we're like literally so we're trying to go that. fours in the eighth now. We're going fours in the eighth is pretty huge. Yep. Yeah. Now what's the why look at it from the eighth standpoint instead of full quarter? So they basically told me that we can't really run quarter mile anymore. My car is not certified to go that fast. Okay. Yeah. My cages in the car is only good for eight fifties. Okay. <laughs> Which clearly you're no longer there. Yeah. <laughs> the big thing is most majority, like ninety percent of the racing we do is all eighth mile racing. Yep. He got his he got his goal and I told him once you get that seven, I told him well, you'll whatever it is, that's it. Yep. So now I can actually get out to the tune up. Put more in it sooner. I was gonna say, I was yeah. right on that that low end, that initial. Yeah. You know, because now it's now we're not running it for seven point nine seconds. Now yep. we're gonna run it for four point nine. Yeah. So you know that last like three seconds, the amount of havoc that's going on inside that motor. Yeah. It's the heat is generating. It's just, right. I didn't. Yeah, because it holy smokes. It's just way to more Think about that. Now, right. By the time you get yeah. to the eighth, you're at you know like his car at the eighth mile is at about seventy six hundred RPM. Yeah. So now, but now you're riding out the rest of the, all the way to eight thousand. Things just like screaming at it's the top at of the, it the, at its max. The end of its right. It's, and we just did a gear change in the car too. Actually, one of the questions. Yeah, that's yeah, Josh right there. from Josh Bentley. Uh, we had a three fifty five in it before, Josh, and uh, we just put a three seventy three in it. Yeah, that's true. So, a lot of the um, Civics will be going across the quarter mile line off limiter. Thank you, sir. Who's yeah. Tim was asking, yeah, Tim. Yeah, we are all. He does have a uh, Terminator in it, the Pro Dash. Yep. That's what I was gonna run. This shit's so fucking. Easy if you're putting a car together. It is. It's just the prices of it now is going through the roof. It's, yeah, they get, they're getting expensive. It's like fifteen hundred, I think. Yeah. For it's the availability. It's really hard. To, they're hard to get. The Holly can't keep up with the demand. Like everybody always says to me, "Oh, go fuel tech, go fuel tech." Great product, absolutely great product. And everybody, because everybody says, you know, the Holly tech support is garbage. I agree, it is garbage. Like you call, you're on hold for an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. But the amount of units they sell compared to fuel tech is like, yeah, you, you know. You Fuel Tech like is everything. meant for like high end, like high end racers are using that with knowledge. These guys are buying these Terminators to put in these, you know, these backyard, you know, these hot rod swaps. Yeah. And I'm on the Terminator forums and I'm just listening to these questions. I'm like, 99% of the questions these people asked, read the damn manual. Just read the manual. It's, it's right there. there. It's, RTFM, yeah. baby. Yeah. Read yeah. the all fucking manual. Do, read the, manual. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of times that people ask, just ask the Yo. same question day in and day out. Oh, I yeah. do IT. I know exactly what the questions are. <laughs> yeah. It won't turn on. And the very first thing in the manual is probably like, make sure this connector is in this port or it won't turn on. Number one Holly thing that people mess up all the time. Holly tells you directly hook up the power and ground cable directly to the battery. Because mm-hmm. the battery is an isolator and it helps with all the RF noise. And the, I can't tell you how many cars I look at and it's there. They got terminals in the front of the car. It literally tells you. They go, oh, it's the same thing. That, that wire is hooked up to the back of the car. I go, it's not the it's same. It's not the same thing. No, Otherwise, they would have said, hey, it's the same uh, thing, but yeah. you should probably do that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there was a question from Ben M. Are you on a 16 volt system? Not yet. So I have to ask just from what's the benefits of switching to a 16 volt system? Everything will run healthier. Okay. So fuel, uh, fuel, fuel pump, 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 all that exactly. sort of stuff. Fuel pump, cooling, as, as, yes. water the, pump. The fans will be stronger. Yep. Um, yeah. We still got an alternator on the car and, you know, everything's still, you know, 14 volt. Yep. So an alternator can, and you can probably speak more on this, but... If you have an alternator that's not performing at its 100%, mm-hmm. 
Gusta. Yep. Can you take can, away. You'll fuck up injector pulse. Oh, yeah, yep. absolutely. You'll lose tons of power. It will be running wrong. You won't be able to figure out what the fuck's going on. Yeah. Until somebody like this guy looks at it and he's like, hey, your amperages are all over the floor. I was going to say, is that yeah. something you could see? Well, yeah, it basically it's, it's pisses everything off. off. Yeah. yeah. Voltage with the uh, injectors is like the higher the voltage, the faster they can operate. They can yeah. operate open faster. Say when you're on the boost, like my car, going on the track, I'm at like 105 pounds of fuel pressure. So you got that 105 pounds of pressure pushing on the injector. So the extra voltage helps, helps it open and close faster. Yeah. It, it does. It works better. Uh, I'm a big 16 volt fan. I think just everything's happier. Yeah. 16 volt. Do you, can you run a uh, a charge system or that's where? You no, I have an alternator on my race car. Well, my car has an you alternator. You can do 16 volt alternator stuff. Yeah, it's okay. uh, my car runs with idling. It's at like 18 volts. What's what kind of? Is it a special alternator? Is it specific? Uh, no, it's I got a guy, a local guy, to me that uh, he, he just rebuilds alternators, and I brought it to him. I'm like, hey, can you make this thing 16 volts? He goes, yeah, no problem. He goes, he's just do an internal regulator, change the internal regulator on it. Yep. It's like seventy five dollars. You have to change yeah. power wires and stuff. Your harness or. No. Uh, well, it's uh, the car has its own wa- uh, custom wire harness, so it's got its own the different power cables in it. But it's cool. It's, yeah, that, it, the car has nothing factory in it. Yeah, like wait, yeah, when you go, uh, especially like old B series shit. I know I keep talking about Civics, but this is all I really know about drag really? racing. When you go distributor style and you start getting up into eight hundred horsepower, well, anything over five, I think they say, you'll start to experience like misses almost. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because the distributor is just old; it can't really keep up with even with the that spark module. Yeah, it's, it's not the same as coil on plug. Correct, because the you got one coil charging to make four four, four cycles. It can't yeah. reach like it yeah, it just can't keep up with that cycle. Spot. Yeah, that so duty. You, yeah, coil on plug and then and having a good alternator. Like, and these Honda guys are buzzing the thing to ten thousand. So a lot of these guys. So it's just a lot of a lot of actions happening really fast. Right, right. So it's like, <laughs> but you'd never think like, oh, my charging system has to be on point to go fast. It's like oh, it's I need one of those. No, to it really stop. Does. It's right. It's it's just crazy. Right. Another thing to look out for as. Air fuel, you know. That's analogy. what I'm saying. Like, people think going fast is easy and cheap. It's not. Yeah, you can go buy a fucking LS and throw a turbo kit on probably red tens, but like, you might just be stuck there forever because you don't know the sauce. Your shit could be fucked up, and you have no idea. You There's set so up your suspension incorrectly. Factors. You don't have a dude helping you line up at the line, getting you in the groove. That's, that's huge. huge. That's the big. Groove, I learned a lot from being in the groove. Yeah. And we already have a thing when we're at the track. We already have everything set. You know, he gives me hand signals. I'm already turning on my water pump for the intercooler. I'm logging the dash, and I give him a thumbs up, and he puts me in the groove. And we already have kind of like a like a we, good rapport. We, 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 got, a system. we got a good system, yeah. 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 We got system. Like, yeah. We, we're working with each other already. Like, we're not fighting with each other's brains. Yeah. We already have everything set. Yeah. You know how it's going to so go. I and suit up. You know, someone puts my window net up, and when I'm strapped in, I can't even move. I always thought, like, the guys with the race teams were funny. Some of them are excessive. Like, you'll have, like, uh, 30 guys out there, which is insane. Yeah, Realistically, two guys. Two. Two guys. You got one guy lining up, and if you have a shoot, you have another guy checking the shoot, making sure nothing's fucking leaking or breaking or some shit. He checks the other side. Everything's good. Thumbs up. Line up. Thumbs up. Everybody's good. Like, you do need a team. You do. It you is. could go out there and run it's yourself. It's impossible to do by yourself. Yeah. It's, it's impossible. It's just, right, the likelihood of you getting to where you want to be by yourself is just exactly. goes like, down. Even, like, when after we make a pass, you know, um, it's cool the car down. I was going to say, there, there's gotta a specific. Drain, I got to drain the water pot, uh, the water pot tank for the yeah. cooler, you know, check the fuel. How often do you change the oil? Pretty frequently, I'm I'm such a fucking anal bastard. You know, I, so the only reason because this guy makes fun of me because I'm so bad. Kyle with is on top of man. It's our friend. Uh, I'm wicked you do it before every too. event. Oh my god, yeah. Like before, if we, next time we go back out, I don't even care if the oil has three passes on it. It's getting changed. Yeah, I. That's what I do. With the and we run events. good oil. I was gonna too. say our we friend. Good oil. Our friend car. Grant. It's, um, you know, it's just preventative maintenance. Yeah, yeah. that Brad Penn. No, no it's actually Shavers. Shavers. Mike <laughs> Raleigh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we run the Shavers. Yeah, like I, me personally, honestly, um, I'll I'll run my car thirty passes on the no. same oil. I'd be, I'd, <laughs> I'd be, I would be so fucking stressed like, out. I'd be like, like oh my I legit, god. I legit pull my dipstick. You know, Shavers oil is green. Yeah, yep. I'll pull my dipstick at like 25, 30 passes. I'm like, it's still green. It hasn't even got heat cycled. It hasn't <laughs> lost any of its, you know, any of its, you know, proprieties. You know, it's still, it's good. To yeah, me, it's good. Yeah, it's fine. Like and I've, I've changed training fluid, and you're like, he's like, why the fuck are you training it? Give it to me. I'm gonna put it in my truck. <laughs> like just, you know, just, it's just one of those things. Yeah, you know? yeah. I think I'm so used to it because of the Subaru. Yep. Right. And, <laughs> you, you didn't know, have a choice. Plus, we run, we run <laughs> ethanol, so I don't want the ethanol to break the oil down. 
Yeah. Yeah. So I'm because just, even with a catch can, you still get it in the fuel. Uh, do believe it or not, depends on tune up has a lot to do with it too. Yeah. Hey, like our oil stays pretty, uh, yeah. pretty clean. clean. I have a pretty yeah. good, I have a pretty good ventilation system in the car now. So yeah. everything gets in the, in the back of the car. Do you gap for turbo with LS or you just set it to whatever the fuck the thing says to, or do you gap bigger or oh, small? Oh, we got the plugs. No, no, no. Yeah. The rank pissing rings. Oh, well, it's, that's the engine, uh, the piston manufacturer. They'll, they'll have specs, just for, specs. for a board. I gave yeah. all, that, all that information to the machine shop. Cool. Yeah, because yeah. I, I know, like, some guys, like, gap it way big. Yeah, the LS for guys. For blow-by and. The stock uh, LS guys, the stock block guys, they'll do that. They'll take them apart. They'll actually go through the work, take the whole motor apart, and uh, take the, the, reuse the, the piston rings. They'll gap them, like, 30-30. Just real big because the factory piston rings, you know, they're, they're asking for them. They'll start to heat up and grow. And then the piston, the tips actually touch. And then there's nowhere else for them to go. Lands. Right. They actually flip. They yep. turn in the in the ring land. They break the ring lands. Huh. That but the way I say, you're gonna go through all that trouble. Just put a set of fucking pistons in it. Yeah. <laughs> if you're, if you're <laughs> taking it out, you're putting new ones in. What the hell, man? How yeah. much are Summit pistons for so a fucking LS? Whole, like four hundred so, bucks. No, no, my no. rotating assembly. <laughs> you know, you got pistons. The pistons are rods. Pistons, are rods, and rings from the, the Summit the LS Pro Series stuff. I think it's like twelve fifty. Yeah. Oh my fucking yeah. god, yeah. that's it's cheap. Cheap, cheap yeah. money. And that's you know you're talking pistons, pistons. And the thing is, the the Summit stuff isn't Summit. It's the K1 rods, yeah, and the pistons are made by Weisco. Yeah, oh, so you're, you're, looking, you're buying K1 rods yeah. and Weisco pistons. That's yeah. fucking cheap. And dude. I paid the machine shop, dude. They, you know, they went through the whole block. You know, they balanced the assembly and everything else. Who do you use for machine? I shop? use Alice Performance Engines in Wayham. Okay. Yeah, awesome guy. Yeah. You know, he clearly gets yeah, it done. He, he did a good job on it. What are um, as you stand right now, is there anything you want to change on the car? What are, what's kind of the first? So right now, I literally just changed the front brakes. Okay. Uh, my buddy Flavio hooked me up with a set of um, strange brakes. Way lighter. Uh, the, the braking in the car sucks. Yeah, stock it, front brakes. Yeah, it's stock front brakes, and I had Will Woods in the back. <laughs> yeah. That's You're pretty, fucking so, out of your yeah, mind. So, <laughs> like the, out of your fucking the, mind. The last, last week when we, uh, when we made the 8.0 pass, I didn't think it was that fast, so I didn't even pull the shoe. And I'm like, both feet like trying to stop. I'm like, oh, my God. We were going good. Yeah. But on that and um, so when I did the brakes, the wheels stuck out too far. And the okay. car, the R obviously, if you've seen the pictures of the car now, it's really, really low now. Yeah. So it wasn't going to work. So Brian from grade eight over there hooked me up with a set of um, one inch shorter um, controller arms. Okay. And um, that made everything right back to where it was before. How much of a, how much time do you spend on? realigning things with a change like so that. So I do all my alignments okay. at work. I'm el- I'm you know able to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can yeah. spend as much time as I want at And work. you can dial it in. I dial it in. I have somebody sit in the car that's my way. Similar, yeah. Yeah, so I can get that car pretty much perfect. Do you, one thing I've seen recently, um, matter of fact, big, big shout to our friend Jimmy Oaks, uh, he brought one of his cars down to Faction mm-hmm. in New Jersey. Well, I, sh- I thought it was really cool. They put the car on a uh, four-post lift or alignment lift, and they use, um, what do you call it, ratchet straps to simulate a load. Oh. Uh, and to see where the car sat, you know, with a projected load. Yeah. Right, right. Like just, you know, how things, do you, can you take it that far? Is that something that? <laughs> we all, well, I don't know. Maybe you, you could answer that question. Not with, uh, not with drag racing. We usually just get the driver weight in the car. Yeah. We'll, we will plot the chassis. Well, basically we take all the points from all the, you know, control arms in the rear. We'll take the points. We'll play the, all that ride heights. And yep. there's a calculator you punch it into and it gives you all your, you know, your anti-squat and it tells you, you know, you're, you're, you're a it's center, center line. Everything everything That's true because it's only going to be in that position. For, the, for the takeoff, so, so they, uh, you guys do tow in in the front because, right? Tow. I do a little bit of towing in the front because on a drag reel, you want the suspension separates. Yeah. So when the ass end lifts up, the front end goes down. Yep. And but we are fucking full jam hamming it. Right, right. Your you wheels will straight straight down. So that's yeah. on a slick. The We're on a radio. Yeah. The back right. of the car actually goes up when he leaves the car. Actually yeah, they the back it the stands goes up, up. Yeah. and it's pushing the tire into the track, right. smashing it down. But in slicks, it'll squat. So then they tow. Yep. Yeah, uh, that so makes people, sense. It, well, I actually, I do the separation too with slicks. Yeah? Yeah, I do it. I, I do it. They, I'm having good luck with it. Uh, ben M in the chat. Any plans to change away from ethanol to say alcohol? Is there a fuel restriction type in the class you run? I'm going to stay ethanol. Yeah, too much maintenance in the ethanol. M1 is just too much maintenance. Yep. 
And you need and a totally different uh, race suit too. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah, just yeah, different ball game. Yeah, it's a fifteen liter suit. It's like twenty, it's like twenty five hundred dollars for the suit. Yeah. And then, and then <laughs> obviously, crazy. if you got methanol, you know, you're gonna want fire suppression yeah. and all yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just the maintenance. You know, come home, take the injectors out, clean them, lube them, put them back in the car. Yeah. What? Uh, what is the fuel? When you say ethanol, what's the fuel? Is it I like run C? ignite ninety? It's like ninety. Yeah, ignite red. Ignite red. Yeah. Okay. We, uh, we, we, yeah, we switched shit. over this year. Yeah, we switched over this year since we knew we were going to be pushing it a little harder. Because we you know, did upgrade the turbo over the winter. We took the VS turbo off. We picked up a uh, one from a, a TDI turbo from Jose yep. at a fourth inductions. And so far, that's working really well. Is Ignite still made by that dude in Jersey? The guy, yeah. No, there's the guy that he, uh, he actually drives a Columbine all day. He owns a farm. Yeah, he legit at one's a farm. Yeah. And like you call him, he'll be on his call and buying something. Yeah, and like he's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. I that's remember wild. his fuel's good though. You know, yeah, that's, that's good, good stuff. Shit. It's just very consistent. Yeah, I remember oh. some dude was like selling egg night, and there was like this big. Oh, that was Chris Miller. Chris Miller. Chris Miller. And there was like yeah, a, a big, lot of lawsuits. Yeah, he yeah, fucked a, a bunch of people over, stole a bunch. Because he was branding his name on it, I'm guessing. Yep, he was reselling it. And it was um, um, FT FTW fueling the world, I believe. Oh, so yeah. he's pouring it out of the ignite jug yeah. into his jug. Yeah, they had oh, FTW red, black. Yeah, yeah, that was a whole fucking yeah. thing. I believe he went to uh, World Cup. Oh and my that god, guy served him a court notice right at World Cup. Oh wow, he had yeah, a lot of pretty, fans there. Yeah, That's gonna be a bad day. That's funny. Do you have you ever raced with a <laughs> Brian? Yes, it does, Brian. It smells, <laughs> it smells like, like a juice dirty gym bag. I was gonna comment on that. I got sidetracked. <laughs> Ignite red is gnarly, and when you're on the dyno, it's like burns your fucking eyeballs, oh, yeah. dude. It's not that bad. Uh, the stuff I hate, it, it, I hate like Q16. Q16, Q16, C- C85. It smells, it smells cool, but it just so it's just so violent on your you know in your in your fuel system. It smells yeah. sweet. Yeah, it doesn't smell that sweet, but it's yeah. Everybody goes, oh, it's oxygenated, it makes more power. Don't you have to, you have to clean your fuel system when it's done because it's a corrosive. It's isn't very it? corrosive. It's very dirty, and but it does work. It does absolutely. Like I could see the use for it if you're class racing and you're like a turbo restricted and you want to get some more out of it. Yep. It, yeah. Q16 absolutely. How much more can you gain out of a fuel change like that? They say about three to four percent. Okay. It could be in three to four percent when you're making fifteen hundred horsepower is quite a bit. Yeah, it's it, significant, it, right? It's yeah. Significant, yeah. But it is super expensive. Yeah. Yeah. That shit is real expensive. Uh, I don't know if we asked. Um, when's the last time you dynoed the car? So right at the beginning of the year, we took it to the dyno. And um, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I love how you guys just don't uh, give a shit about any of this no, stuff. I'm not, Civic I'm not, guys are know, like, no. Nah. The thing is, <laughs> you don't know a shit. Lot of the, a lot of the VA guys around this area are so hush-hush about everything. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. A lot of those guys, they run no prep. Yeah. So they, yeah. you know, yeah. they don't want to give anybody an edge on what they have. I was yeah. going to say, if you run no prep, that's when people are like, hey, so what, hey, what tires are you running? They're like, fucking Kumos. Po- potato shaved the fucking so wall. So you can't tell. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it, that, yeah. The no prep scene is like the most secret. It's, it's like a secret society. Yeah. yeah. It's Absolutely. So bad. It's so bad. I mean, yeah. it's. But I get it. It's like do. for a couple grand. It's like, well. Well, know. there's a lot of behind the scenes gambling, too. So that's why. There's, yeah. there, there really yeah. is. There's a lot yeah. of money at stake. So, no, I got I get it. Like me, yeah. I put up my dino numbers, so my, my try times. I'm trying to grow what I do. So yeah. nobody wants to bring a car to me. you like, oh, yeah, he, uh, my I, car is fast, but how fast? Nobody knows. I was just going to say, oh, what, what have you produced on the dial? Can't tell you. Yeah. yeah exactly. like, I, why would I go to, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's why just, would I it just doesn't exactly. make sense. Have, yeah. you, doesn't make sense. have you met, like, Noah Perkins? He's from um, Connecticut. Connecticut. Yeah, he's the one that drives the Malibu. Yep, oh, he's yeah. one of the um, MSR, MSR guys. guys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Big no prep guy. What a fucking driver that kid is. Yeah. He does a lot of no prep stuff. Dude. Some of these, do, I mean, the reason why I love Derek so much is because they just, literally, that whole group, they don't give a fuck. Like, the car could be going all crazy, and they do the same thing you do. Yeah. Foot to the floor and yeah. drive it the fuck out. Just drive it. It's the worst thing to do is to get out yeah. of it. When yeah. you're on a slick, like, when you uh, let off and try to get back in it, what it does, it just unloads the back of the car. Yeah. And then you get back in it, it really upsets the chassis. Yeah. Right, because you're you're essentially, especially on a slick. Yeah. I just, I'd yeah. imagine that yeah. there's no there's no sidewall. It's that it's just it just shrinks yeah. and it's then bubble gum. Yeah, I yeah. gotta show you pic- videos of Noah fucking tearing ass, and this this car is a, a badass motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, it is. yeah. Um, so what did you put down? What did it make? Eleven sixty five. Yeah, like eleven sixty five. Eleven sixty five. Just ridiculous. And that was on an unloaded dyno. Yeah. So yeah. Um, we actually had to sit in the back of the car too, just to keep it. Yeah. Yeah. It was yeah. Fast with the tires. Yeah. But, uh, but it's probably judging, making, judging by what it is, it's probably making what? 
12. I think I think it's probably around like 12, 12, 20. Yeah. yeah. So it's 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 making some yeah. jam. Yeah, yeah. But we still haven't had even at the track we haven't had it over twenty eight pounds yet. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So like like and stuff. I'll tell all you guys right now. The thing's got like sixteen degrees of timing in it. So if all you LS guys know that, know that's not a lot. No, it's not. It's and, and you we log every. Isn't pass. ten stock? Is ten stock what, what, almost what? or base timing yeah. is ten degrees? Oh, base timing no, like like I really like 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 uh, I set like twenty for base idling for idling. Like twenty degrees at wide open throttle, like NA stuff is like 28, 29 degrees for NA. Okay, yeah, because I think Fox shit's ten, or yeah. at least for three hundred two well, stuff. Yeah, yeah that's, just, just, that's yeah, a fucking boat yeah. anchor though. So yeah. We don't care about that. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck guys are brutal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna get an LS. All right, hey. <laughs> but um, and I'm gonna make a no, one quarter um, of the power. You no, know, the it's you know it's. It, May not seem a lot to some people, but yeah, the fucking car yeah. just gets down. Yeah. Oh no, it's in that. Ch- uh, what does the car weigh as well? So it weighed. So this year it weighed twenty nine sixty with me in it. Yeah. So it's and not- I just took some weight out of it again with the uh, the brakes and stuff. So I probably took another thirty five pounds off it. Yeah. So it's not super light, you know. I got full interior in that car, man. Yeah. It's got yeah. Door panels, back seat. I love that. It doesn't have a headliner because obviously we have to take the headliner out when we did the cage. Yep. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's got a dash in it, but it doesn't have anything behind a dash. It's you know, it's got carpet. You know, everything. That's sick. Everything car. Yeah. All glass, no fiberglass, no Lexan. The doors are not cut up. Yeah. The trunk is cut up because I had to, you know. Fuel it, cell. And, yeah, and I mini tubbed it over the winter and stuff because we get the car really, really low. Are yeah. people really talking shit, though? Like, you know what I mean? Like, or do people ever have anything bad to say? Like, Oh, uh, no, not to my face anyway. No. Yeah, everybody's, everybody's, no, everybody respects Kyle's it. actually a very light guy. You know, he's just a very humble dude. Yeah. yeah. Say, That's why like, I like him so much. He's, we got along great. Yeah. Who's going to be like, oh, it only ran sevens? <laughs> you'd like, be, that's you, fucking You'd crazy. be surprised. Dude, like, when you'd be surprised we went how many sevens, people. I was fucking emotional as a bastard. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. It was a huge accomplishment. It was your goal. You know, when I got that, when I was telling you before, I didn't even feel like a 790. Yeah. I literally was just did my thing. Grabbed the parachute. Same as the last, I right. I wrapped it up, and I put it in the passenger, shut the door. I yeah. got in the car, started up. I drove to the, the ticket booth, and um, I looked at the lady. I says, please tell me I went sevens. She looked at me and smiled. Right then and there, my heart was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Whenever I grabbed the slip and I looked at it, I screamed like a fucking girl. How's, how's that relationship go? With the, You get to know those people at the end of the booth so, to grab the like, tickets? Even, like, the tech people are so nice there with me. Yeah. What are the guys, when you make that pass, the guys at the end? At the, the guys end, at, at the, the end. So the, the guy at the, the fire guys were at the end, bro, right? They were like giving me thumbs up. They're like, dude, that car sounds like a fucking jet coming down the track. <laughs> He's like, hey, is that thing Ford powered? And they're like, no, it's LS. And the other guy's like, see, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a few and far between Ford Power now. Yeah, and, uh, man. It's Josh just... Bentley, actually. He's his is still a small block Ford. That He's dude's got a badass. That's my fucking guy right there. <laughs> you know Josh Bentley? You know Josh? No, I'm just he's a fucking <laughs> oh, fellow no. connoisseur dude, of small block gets, Ford. That car is fast. His car is badass. I put actually I put on races sometimes too. Last year I put on a grudge cruise. And Josh showed up with this car. That thing's a badass car. Yep. You know, he loaded it up. Him and his buddy got in it. We went for the cruise. Drove it 22 Street miles. Street car right there, We man. drove it 22 miles. We threw back roads. Jumped on the highway on 101. And put it right back in the staging lanes. You wow. know what, though? I bet I you... I raced him years ago in my Subaru. That's how I met him. Yeah. Super awesome dude right there. Josh, is yeah. any of your, is any of your uh, small block Ford stuff stamped Ford? I bet not. At that power. Probably not. You know, I don't think it has a Ford. No, stamp it doesn't on say it. Titanic on it like no, a stock thing, block. I, I, I want to say it probably does have a dart block. Yeah, in it. dart. Oh yeah, of course it does. <laughs> no, it's a badass car and it's a really good looking car. It's it's a pretty car. It's like a street it, car, man. Yeah, yeah. you look at an awesome like job car. of that thing. Yeah, radiator in it and everything. That dude yeah, drives it's, the it's, car. Right? Yeah, it's one of my favorite cars out there. What's your next? What's when's the next time the car's out? Um, hopefully two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna test on slicks. Okay. Because we have a race to go to. Um, actually. It's Brian's race. Brian's race. They put on a race up, up in, in uh, um, Oxford. Oxford, Oxford, Maine. Maine it's a no prep race. race. So, so we're going to try to get ready for that. Yeah. So we're going to do some 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 new stuff to the car. We're going to try to do some um, wheel speed sensors. <laughs> try to do a little traction control so we can control. Adjust things. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. We can try to control the wheel speed. Yep. And see if we can get down. I think we'll be a contender. Um, I know drag radios are different than, than slicks, but. Yeah. We're going to give it a I'm going to go there with just a. You know, clear mind and just do my thing. Same thing, right? You're you obviously changing some things now yeah. when it comes to alignment and stuff. When you're switching to an actual slick, yeah. Um, are you changing springs or anything like that? Or no, we're actually changing the ride height and a couple of bar angles in the back. I'm going to have to change. Okay. And unfortunately, we're going to have to raise the car up a little bit, and I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the Volkswagen <laughs> guy still that. coming the through. The car sits wicked low right yeah, now. It looks yeah. Like, yeah, it looks sick. It's like yeah. a yeah. pro mod. Yeah, when they're so. slammed. But um, we'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, but. 
you know, towards the end of the year, there's a couple more, a um, couple more eighth uh, quarter mile races we're going to go to. Yep. I'd like to know, like, next time you're running it at Epping or something yeah. like that, because uh, I think it'd be fun just to go. It's um, a good time. Yeah, just to see it, you yeah. know, shoot some photos, video, and, and yeah. see the thing in action. I want to hear it uh, when it's not just glug glug and by me. I don't yeah. think. Uh, hear it at yeah. When you hear the crazy full full mass, yeah, it's, um, yeah. It's no, nah, I think it's not there. I love turbo cars. When you were saying like sometimes when I'm watching my buddies going out of track, I'll go down the further set of bleaches all the way down by like the quarter mile just to get it. Because really in the front, you really hear the the, the whistle, of the turbo. You don't really hear all the other noises. Yeah, the whistles so you, go. Yeah, whoa. it really comes down. It just sounds awesome. That's like I love it. The top end charge videos are the best. When when is the car running at its peak on the quarter mile? Is there when it shifts into high gear? I'd say. Uh, well, that's where I really feel the thing cooking. Yeah. What's he? What's that thing? Because we leave in second gear. Okay. We, so we look how long is the second gear, and it shifts third about about two point four seconds into the pass. It shifts third. Okay. And then from there on, it's it's like we're all in. We're already all in at about point nine. Like we're at, at all the boost. full boost. Yep. And then oh at that God. point, it's yeah. just that's just why you really feel gears. it. And that's where the traction control can help. You know. With yeah. that, well, on the radio, we're not really having, we're not having any traction problems. Okay. Yeah, uh, the the radio it could help at the beginning, like sixty foot with the traction control can help a little bit. Yeah. If it's not to see some spin, it could pull a little timing out to help try to get it back under control. But where it's biggest is on the no prep stuff. Okay. Because like most tracks, they'll it's front of the track, so we'll leave on concrete. Lots of traction. Yeah. And then about 120 feet, it transitions onto asphalt. Yeah. And that's when the tires start to get wheel speed, and it'll traction control will catch that. Well, and if you're meeting your peak efficiency, it, like yeah. making the most power, and yeah, yeah, yeah that you, makes you sense. You still, even with traction control, you can't just overshoot the tune up and think the traction control is going to do it. Right. You still want to get it as close as possible. Yep. So you, the, the tire, obviously, it's, it's a game. It's get it to go as fast as possible without spinning the tire. Yeah. It's all about collecting data. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. How long do you spend analyzing that data? Dude, it's ridiculous. <laughs> He's anal about <laughs> that shit, man. Data log data. So it's funny because he, um, we made a, um, a fluid change because of him, him looking at the gear change. It was, you know, you could see something that wasn't right. Wasn't fast enough? Well, I just see like, you know, the converter drop, like on the shift, I see how much is dropping. So before we changed the gear swap this year, we went out with a new power. The car was actually only dropping about 350 RPM on the shift which is a little it's too loose. So I knew by going up to a, from a 355 gear to 373, we can actually get after it better on the front half of the track Yep. for a better 60 foot. And it'll also tie up the converter. And now it's like perfect. It's dropping about 750 RPM. Yeah. It's right where I want it to be. But as far as going over data, we go to the track on Wednesday. I mean, I'm sorry, on a Sunday and like Wednesday, I'm still looking at it. He's data. still looking at it. He'll call me up and say, Hey, I'm still know. looking at data. And like, how many passes do you think that would be? Oh, like on a Sunday, would we make full through five, we full five, we passes. five passes? Okay, yeah. so, and the only reason I'm just trying to put in perspective how much information there is. So if there's only, let's say, five passes, yeah. there's just so much to look at still. I'll overlay those passes. I'll take our last, like, 8020 pass, and I overlaid it over the 790 pass. Yep. And I'm going to try to see where, where things happened, where things happened sooner. I was going to say, do yeah. you think from a data standpoint and looking at it on a screen or paper, you can tell there's our differential? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like I can see where I could see if we losing traction, if we lost traction. So I know uh, if it's good, I know I can put more power in sooner. Yeah. You can I, see so many metrics. Yeah. There's it's so Dude, it's insane. It's, it's wild. It's yeah. Endless. Like the more shit you plug in, especially with Holly. Well, he's also gone now. We've, we've added the expansion box to his. So now we're doing, you know, we're going to do the drive shaft speed sensor, front wheel speed sensor to get the traction control work. I was going to say, there's so many so different uh, sensors that yeah, are added. Sky's the limit. Pressure. Like on my car, I got like on my car, I have, Pre intercooler pressure, post intercooler pressure. I have pre intercooler temperature, post pre intercooler temperature. I've got gauges. I got sensors up the butt. All all stuff that truly is yeah. when you're trying to do what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. The Important. biggest thing, the most the biggest thing I ever did to my car it was the best investment I ever did was do the EGTs. I was just about to On fucking all, ask yeah. about Dude, that. that. You do individual, yeah. individual yeah. cylinders. He does yeah. that. Yeah. I actually just found an issue with his car. What is? I'm yeah. sorry, EGTs. Yeah, exhaust exhaust, exhaust gas. gas temp. Okay. So basically. Okay. You set them at the end all the same depth in the in in the runner in the header. And they throw out a pass, you can see if you have a hot cylinder, a cold cylinder, or if you're losing spark, the cylinder goes out. Yeah, because that Instead, again, that yeah. will tell you a lot you of data. You can tune by oh, yeah. cylinder. Because if you make a pass and the car's breaking up because you have a you know, you have a bad injector or something's going on, without the EGTs, all right, the car's dropping a cylinder. Like Which one? one? Yeah. Right. In my old car, I used to have a problem with the thing, no matter these headers I had in the car, it would eat burn up a spark plug wire. And I couldn't see it. 
because it was like burning from it internally. So, and I change a plug wire, make a pass, not it. Change a plug wire, not a pass, make it. Change a plug wire. Okay, found it. It was this one. And like, I just wasting passes. We're wasting going time. to, right, right. Now, if I have a little hiccup, I pull me EGT. Oh, okay, number seven. There's a little Defined folder. info. I know right where to go. It's like yeah. a misfire monitor. <laughs> Dude, it's, yeah. like, right. it's like, you can only be as accurate as you're monitoring. And when you're monitoring, when you have a large infrastructure to yeah. monitor, as soon as you start plugging in all these tools, it's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I had a miss. Where was it? I have no fucking it idea. It just shows you. Just that gives you all the... Just like a car dealer. You plug in the scanner. They, it tells you everything that that's that like, car yeah. I can, that, I can pick. I can pick the car apart with a slug monitor. Yeah. 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 That you know, tune, the, the last person, how fast did they... How high did they rev it before the engine broke? I came in on a warranty. The engine broke. Oh, see here. It says you revved it to 11,000. So you probably did a one, two, one. Right, and right. And they know all that stuff's recorded. Yeah. yeah. And that's why I always make sure that my goal, I always like, oh, data log, data log. I always tell them with the hand signal because I need that. <laughs> do you I have to that. manually turn it on? So what I do is, so when I suit up, when I'm sitting in the car, I have everything on. I leave one glove off. Yeah. So I can hit my screen and I hit record. Yeah. And then I put my glove on, then I do my burnout. So from the burnout to the end of the track, you get all that. It's a whole yeah. data log yeah. of everything that he needs to Because that'll tell you yeah. if something changes yeah. something mid run or burnout. Something yeah. breaks at the burnout. He yeah. knows. Okay. Yeah. You know? with, with the Holly Terminator, you it doesn't do onboard data logging. Like the Holly HP and the Dominator has onboard data logging. It's got four gigs of memory. Right so on it'll, that. It'll, you just set a parameter like my car. It's like anytime it sees 90% throttle, yeah. it starts recording. Yeah. And I can just come back and pull it off. Yeah, I am a data snob. I really am, just because I, from what I've seen and what I've been taught, like it's it's your friends. It's cool. It's, it's, it's not gonna. Well, it's not gonna you know not help. It's just gonna yeah. benefit. Yeah, yeah. It's it just, just it just gives you a look at yeah. everything. We're gonna exactly. eventually add uh, shock sensors to his car too. Yep. So we know what the suspension is. Will uh, that show just with, travel, uh, travel distance correct, and correct yeah. like on the race shocks on a, on a radio when it separates. If it's separate, we need to know how far out in the run we're peaked out the shock. Yep. So we might need to slow the separation down a little bit so yep. it doesn't top off. Sometimes if it tops the shock off too fast, when it's trying to accelerate, it'll knock the tire up and spin. I was going to say so throw the car off. Some, or... Yeah, sometimes because it has because it's trying to separate and it has nowhere else to go, so it unloads the tire. Yeah. Uh, gentlemen, it, it, I, I have to, like, so cool, it's right? so fascinating. Dive, dude, I've to, always to just, wanted to do like, EGTs. <laughs> Even on a basic ass car, because your tune is gonna be fucking yeah. dead I, dick nuts. Yeah. It, it's, dude, it's huge. I don't really. I tune a little bit with it. Like uh, sometimes you find that cylinder's a little bit hot, so you can go into that cylinder and like say you could add like I'm gonna add five percent fuel at you know after this RPM and after this much boost. And yeah. Then I'll make the, I'll follow it up and I'll see it. You know, it, it'll actually even out with the other ones. Yeah, because you're really not tar- you're not targeting a number. You're not looking for a certain number. Right, you're just going by the overall you're look- feel. You're looking for a differential between them all. Yeah, yeah. you're looking so for a tell. Once you put them in, like I make passes. I know, I know my car what it gets up to uh, at the end of a pass. I know that you're always at the end. Now, if I start looking at data logs, I'm like, wow, well, no, this cylinder used to only go to like seventeen hundred. Now it's going to like eighteen twenty. I know something's going on. So it's something. To catch a problem before it is a problem. Yep. Yeah. It's fucking it's, it truly can be oh, invaluable. Yeah. Uh, to, like a, to when you're. Yeah, I'm a wicked data snob. You know, I'm still learning. I know I'm not by any means any hot shot. There's lots of guys out there that just you know blow me out the water when it comes to tuning in. Well, you're, you're you're no slouch. For the amount of time that he's been doing yeah. it. Yeah. Just, yeah. For yeah. sure. And, and, I got, and I got no problem helping. You know, like I got a guy. You know, like Mike Dez, Dez Racing. Yeah. Fucking stand up, dude. You know, I was gonna I, say I've. I've Mike Dez. Oh, um, I recently followed him on Facebook. Mike yeah. Dez, awesome dude. You know, like last year I was there with my car when I first put the radio on it, bounced a couple ideas off him. And, you know, he's just stand up a guy, very humble, and, you know, he gave me a couple pointers. Yeah. You know, I wasn't expecting him to because I know he runs a business and that's what he does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was super grateful. You know, he's, he's, he's a solid dude. He's a nice guy. I, yeah. I, I got nothing but good to say about Mike. That's awesome. That's and awesome. It's, it's nice. Like, I like to help people, but at the same time, I understand for him it's a business. Yeah, so for not, sure. I don't, I don't want him to tell me, you know, what he does. Right, but right. That's his thing. Right, it's his bread but, and butter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, you know, he gave me a couple pointers and I am very appreciative of that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. I think we got a couple questions. Oh, uh, Phil Cannon chat. Shouts to Phil. Thanks for the donation, Big, bud. Congrats to Shook. Uh, let's see. There were, oh, yeah. From Ben M, for, for your parachute setup, is it a traditional spring launcher setup or an nope. air assisted? It's, uh, it's traditional. Traditional spring, spring launcher. Uh, is it just a, like a pin a, on the back and you a cable a, to the front? It has a cable from the inside of the car with my handle. Yep. And I just push it forward and it opens the diaper. Sure. Opens it opens the diaper. How do you learn how to set up a parachute on it a car? It sucks. <laughs> so I need like, it's like me, my dad, and my uncle, and it gets tangled up. It's such a pain. Yeah. I was going to ask you, do you always pull a shoot? I have to now, man. Yeah. 
Yeah. F- Maybe for the eighth mile, I probably won't. Nah, you won't. Maybe with but, these new um, brakes With now. the new brakes now, but. What's your mile per, well, on the 7.9 run? What was your mile? Almost 170. <laughs> Jesus. No, actually, almost 171. I'm sorry, 171. <laughs> in, a, in a tin can. You know what's yeah. crazy? Two and like the civics will do like uh damn s- guy's always talking about these damn civics. He's so obsessed. Seven nine <laughs> on a civic would be like hundred eighty five. Yeah, so uh, so much mile per hour. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they're just fucking. Then when they pull the parachute, the yeah, ass end comes up in the air. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, because listen, I've been I did a lot of I didn't personally drive. Let me fix that. But like I went to a lot of drag racing shit. That's what I got into yeah. first. I think it's cool as fuck. A lot of people are just like, yeah, you're just driving a car straight. That's not cool. It's not. It's not, it's not fucking it's not. easy. No. You're, listen, a 15-second car, yeah, I'm sure it's not fucking fun because you go out there, you could count fucking 10 Mississippi between each shift. <laughs> <laughs> if you're driving a PPG K-Series Civic with like 500 horsepower, That's fun as shit. you don't have fucking a single second to think about. You're... Like, you don't have time to be like, oh, I could have got a shift one yeah, to two a, now. A, yeah. Yeah, no. I, got, I got Kyle set up. We uh, he picked up a shifter last year. Uh, what is it? M and M. M and M. And uh, last year he was still uh, shifting it manually. I said to say, you know what? We're done with that. I go, let's hook up the air shifter. And I put the first pass with it. How'd you like it? He goes, the best. Do it, <laughs> yeah, dude. When you're <laughs> going so no for speed, drama, dude. I just hold the steering wheel and I just you look and make sure it shifts. And it goes. Pitch. Yeah, before he's trying to be looking at the tack, trying to watch to see where to shift. Yeah. And it's like I'd rather have him watch yeah. it. Focused yeah, on, yeah, focused yeah. on driving. Yeah, yeah. 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 You, you so much easier with the shift than I don't. You could easily oh get God. stuck in the tack and end up over the line. Yeah. I mean, I dude, I fucking grew up racing in Mexico. <laughs> but that was like my favorite thing to go and do, and I would seriously, dude, street racing uh, in Mexico was so much fun <laughs> that <laughs> it was always so fun until you brought money in. Yeah. That and that's actually that's why I got out. I was racing so no much. Money. Huh? <laughs> no, no money. money. No money. He was saving for that engagement ring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Lost all the money. And it was just bullshit stuff, but it's like these guys had this car. I beat it. They have another car. We beat that. Well, we'll go get our other car. And I'm not even talking shit. I'm like, all right. I'm well, like, yeah, there's always going to be a, yeah. when it comes to that stuff, yeah. just always keep a going, bigger you know? fish. And they're like, we'll go get a fucking B20 nitrous, this and that. You'll never be the fastest. There's always a bigger fish out there. And my yeah. buddy, and my buddy is like, you're good. And I was like, I'll race you for a hundred bucks. I'd never seen a group of grown men get so fucking upset in my entire Salty. life. <laughs> Salty. And when they were like, oh, hundred bucks, hundred bucks. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Maybe racing's not what I want to do anymore. Like I, that's why I got out of show shit. Same thing. Grown men crying over like you get a first place. Trophies. You right. don't even have seats in the car, bro. If you, I, whatever it is what it is, but drag racing is not just hold the pedal down and go Fast. No, like no, it's not. There's a lot behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of shit happening. There's a lot of respect fast, for these guys it's that are doing happening it. Happening fast. Yeah, happening yeah. fast. Yeah. Going sevens, you know, it re- is it hard? Yes. Is it super hard? No. It's anybody can, you know, you can build a car and go sevens, but like I'm creating more of a challenge to myself. I want to go sevens and keep the thing alive. Yeah. yeah. Like, I want to keep it alive. Like I'd rather go seven nineties all year. Then put a Hail Mary tune up in it. Yeah. Go 780 and break it. They fucking yeah. hang a rod yeah. out of Throw it. Throw some big. It's, it's yeah. Not worth it. It's not big, worth, it's not worth it. it to me either. It's, it's just yeah. not worth it. You know? Like you pull the heads off to do your maintenance or whatever, and you look at the top of the piston, you could eat off of it. Pulling heads like, off. Who pulls the heads off to do yeah. maintenance? Well, this guy, when he had the, the no, leak. Oh, I had the an leak. issue. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. But when you pulled it off, you, you look at the piston, everything you're like, br- everything looked brand, brand new. new. I even sent them a picture of him. I'm like, look at this. I was going to say, with your setup and with your mentality, there's no reason this can't run for. Few oh, years without oh, any major. This thing will last probably all season. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This thing, like if we just if we don't get greedy with it, <coughs> like if we don't get greedy with it, like it's. Do I think it'll go four ninety? Absolutely, because we, it went five oh seventeen or five oh twenty six. Yeah, yeah something. Like, we're like literally, we could have if he farted, he would have ran. Right, right, right. Yeah. Would have pushed you over the. And now, now that we're gonna just stick to the eighth mile, I can put in more soon. I can add a couple of degrees of timing. Yeah. Because it's not making that full trip. So and I, it's I not stretching yeah. things to the exactly. limit at the very end. So yeah. I yeah. don't see. So I don't see a problem as going four nineties. If we start trying to go four eighties, four seventies, that's when you're it's gonna, gonna start. break. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna break. Yeah. It's, it, it doesn't have, you know, tool steel wrist pins in it. You still got standard wrist pins in it. It's a basic setup, man. Yeah, it's yeah. a super duper basic setup. So I told my Rago, honestly, I go, I, we're going to push it a little bit more. But when I, t- I told him, when I'm not comfortable pushing it anymore, we're not pushing it anymore. Yep. And you'll, the data know. will tell you that. Basic uh, setup well, is set. There's sevens. really no data for when a rod's going to let go. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. All right. So, yeah, yeah. You're just going to push yeah. it until you're. I know guys that have made 1,400 tire with his pistons and rods. The yeah. turbo's good for it. 
I yeah. know guys that have made that, but it doesn't mean, you know, it could be a different batch of rods. It could right, be, you know. Yeah, yeah, now you're getting down to the literal the component yeah. level yeah. of. Yeah, literally yeah. anything could be a bad mix of fuel one day. Yeah, exactly. That, well, that's why we got up that's the Pumpy 85 consistent. and we went to the Ignite. Yeah. Oh, yeah. More consistent. Pumpy 85 is fucking dog shit. It, dude, shit works. Dude. Hey, we, well, when, I went 8 with it. It works. Probably 10 times. I know a lot, a lot of fast cars. You just got to do a little more maintenance. It's a little dirtier. Because, you know, you figure it, it's E85, it's 85% ethanol, 15% of whatever they left the, at the bottom of every barrel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, barrel yeah. is fine. Well, I'm talking like you go to the pump. It's oh, never yeah. That's 85. That's what I'm talking No, it is 85. Yeah, we were, we were testing it. I was using it right from Canton. Yeah? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. always good. But in Wallingford, Connecticut, the shit would be like 50. Oh, 50 a week, yeah. I'll tell you right 60. now, I have done this before many cars. E65 to E85, my timing map, don't change. It, the E85, it's, it's, it doesn't give a shit. Yeah. It's E65. The only thing you got to change is now since you have more gasoline in it, you're going to need a little bit less injector. So you'll, that'll, you'll take away a little, inje- you know, VE. You'll turn yeah. that down a little bit because there's more gasoline in it, less ethanol. But as far as the map, it stays the same. Like, I've, I've checked plugs. I've made passes with it, you know, with E70, E85, E65, and it, it don't give a shit. Anything under E65, I'd start to take some timing out of it. Yeah. But, I would, I would imagine you have way better luck with the barreled shit, even if it was bottom of the barrel. Mine comes in five gallons. I buy it in five <laughs> yeah. gallon pails. The pa- yeah, yeah, the pails. Dude, it, it, dude, it's, it just oh, smells. Dude, the smell of it from the pump to the can, beautiful. It, it has a different smell. Yeah. It's beautiful. It really has a different smell to it. Yeah, you can when you're behind, even a tuned car on ninety three, when you're behind it, it smells better, and you could tell that it's got like that better burn. You're like, so it's like it doesn't have Cumberland Farms. It's got a fucking shell in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, that, that, I think that, I think ethanol bar is pretty clean. You know, yeah. I, E85 smells beautiful when you're behind a fucking E85 C, car. Sweet C85. C85. Yeah. yeah. C85 smells good, but if you're gonna spend the money on a C85, it's only like twenty dollars more for C16. Like I run C16. To me, it's that's is the nectar of the gods. C16 <laughs> is what my buddy ran in his car, and we went to um, Xenocron tuning, which I don't know if you're familiar, no, but it's Josh. inside. You see the one that says 171 with autos on I did race. actually, yeah. <laughs> I fucking you're a madman for That's that. That's wild. Yeah. Freaking Eric. Um that shit burned my eyes. Oh yeah? After because it was an indoor dyno. Oh the C eighty five oh yeah. The C eighty five oh yeah. Oh inside? It's inside dyno with ventilation. After two passes, I'm like, damn, this thing sounds great. And then I was like, I got a headache. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, somebody maced me, bro. Like, was that? I couldn't like see anymore. Unreal. It explains a lot. Yeah, I think with like cars, either, <laughs> yeah. it's either you're running, either you're running, you know, like E85, you're running C16 on a turbo car, or a percent methanol car. I don't see any point of running any other kind of fuel. Yeah. You know, I got a couple of guys that are cars I tune. They're still, you know, the pump gas guys. You know, they're, 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 they go, oh, I don't want to put race gas in it. I drive my car a lot, so they just want to pump gas too. Yeah, it's simplicity. Yeah, yeah. They'll, they'll still, you know, LS pump gas. This thing this shit still makes like six on, you know, 650, 680. Yeah. Is there a pump. limit you won't go over with the uh, 93? Uh, depends. Like on a 6.0, on 93, depends on, you know, combo setup. But I've, I've made 700 go pump gas a few times. And that comes to the fact of what Ben's asking. If it's an air to air or air to water. Yeah, we still air run air. a, we run an air to water in the core. Yeah. We, yeah, have yeah. A sheet, we have a sheet of ab in a cooler. It sandwiches in between the uh, the holly intake. Sick. Yeah. That works good. It does work good. The only thing that does suck is it's, lim- it's harder to get a, uh, a hood on the a car. A hood on the car. So. I got. I had to lower my car. I had my engine. I had to lower it two inches so I could lower the intake manifold down to get a hood Just over. to have a hood on. I've been like I've been the no hood mafia for like four years. I've been <laughs> the, I'm, the hood, I'm the no hood mafia now. And this year, I, I told myself last year, I, like, I got to get a hood on this car. It just looks complete with a hood. Yeah. Yeah. You could run seven so with no hood on it. Yeah, it doesn't create like a crazy air. Well, pop I'm, sure it does. Does. I'm, I'm sure, sure it does. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does a little bit. You lose some aerodynamics. Yeah. I wonder if you'd pick up like crazy time just throwing a hood on it. I don't I'm think a, you'd pick up crazy, I but I think it, I, I really think there, there, there's there'd a be a differential right? yeah. kind of aerodynamics. Yeah, to it, you know. Yeah, it's not creating a big that? pocket what for air to hit. Coalition or something like that. I know, like uh, guys who run like Lexan front windows picked up time going glass. Because of the aerodynamics, the it would like, it would fucking dent in. Oh, I see really? that happen a lot with yeah, but the optic armor if you use like good for stuff like optic armor, dudes are like bracing the center of their fucking shit, so yeah. it wouldn't yes, like Brian, parachute the car. Absolutely, put some nitro in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, gentlemen, it's wild to learn about all this stuff. 
to see you progress and all this stuff and still chase. Yeah, or not really chase, but still just progress yeah, with just no real it. just to do it to do it. Yep. Uh and it's awesome. I hope you guys never stop. It, it's it's we talk about it all the time. We say when it stops being fun, we'll just stop doing it. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I like I want to be like I'm I'm done with it. Yeah. We'll see what until happens. until then. Sometimes I, don't uh, want I got to another work. car I'm building now too. So oh, do you? Yeah, I picked up a '69 Nova. Oh, oh okay. Jesus. I fucking yeah. love them. So yeah, I'm gonna yeah. be doing so that. So cool. Now. That was supposed to be mine. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end up build, doing that now. Yep. Yeah. Novas are cool as fuck. No, it's an awesome car. That's oh. gonna be a driver. It's gonna be just a Cruiser. It's gonna be LS powered, obviously. Yep. Obviously, I yeah. figured. Oh, okay. Yeah. Big, but big no LS turbo, no nothing. It's just gonna be a Cruiser. Yeah. Yeah. Na. A fun, fun. You know. Yeah, real. Uh, so rowdy me and the car. wife could go for a ride and just fucking drive it to work. Or yeah, whatever. still have so right. Get right. some hot dogs. Get that enjoyment. I'm literally hoping by next summer I'm driving. Awesome. I'm hoping. Yeah. He could drive. He could drive the Mustang. Trust me. Dude, I can't yeah. wait to see that because if it's even is a fucking fraction of the Mustangs yeah. in this man. <laughs> Oh, dude, it's it's it's, it's going to be real simple, like sixty billion dollars later. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no, real it's simple. It's going to be it's a full resto because it, there's a brand new floor in it. Yeah, yes. yeah, brand no, new firewall a, rockers are all brand going to be brand new. That color so. combo and rim, he's, rims he's already picked up for yeah. the car. Mwah. Sick. Be so awesome, right now yeah. the car is red. It's going to be uh, white with black top. Oh, cool. Now, all the chrome is going to be gone. It's going to be all black. Yeah. All the all the trim is going to be black. Oh, that'll be so awesome. Be, and. Hopefully the uh, license plate's going to say Oreo on it. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Um, we have some questions that were submitted, and I think you answered a handful of these throughout the the conversation. But uh, we can answer them as we go along, and there might be some not pertaining to to the build overall as well. Uh, but from our friend Padva, how much faster could you go if you kept the three hundred two? God bless. <laughs> That's a good question. I didn't. Hey, I didn't do any. I haven't even had a three hundred two. I have nothing to do with that one, man. Uh, no poke, no love. Uh, he just writes. I finally gave up my Friday coffee, enjoying the B for B. Love you, Mutta. Big shouts, no poke, no love. Thank you very much for that. Uh, MTCS eighty three. Do you miss your drag Subaru? No. Done. I don't. Yeah, I think you thoroughly answered that. Yeah, I really don't. I really, really don't. I can honestly yeah. truly say I don't. It becomes a point when you're working on the car more than you're enjoying yeah. it. It just, this is no fun. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, like my blue car, I ruined the car. I just took it too far. Yeah. Like I had a nice, fast, you know, 480 car. I should have just left it alone and enjoyed it. But no, let's go to the next level. 25.5 cage, build a new motor, yeah, aluminum just... aluminum block, aluminum rods, all Brodex heads. Yeah. It's like, to what? I, you know, I literally, I just spent a shit ton of money for like no reason. No, you said you took the enjoyment out of it. Now you can't. Yeah, you can't I enjoy all it. the fun out of it now. It's a, tra- yeah. it's a trailer car. Uh, Subikage, why turbo over supercharger? How much? How do you choose which one? Hmm, that's a great question. That is a really good question. I've always been a turbo guy. Yeah, just yeah. a natural. Yeah, like even starting from the Volkswagens, you know. Yep. It's, it's always been a turbo. I never had a supercharger car. Yeah, I think it's like cost application. Is, cost, right? is, cost is also a big thing. Like a supercharger to make twelve hundred, in like a whole kit. You're talking like seven, eight thousand. Mm-hmm. So you know, for a nice blower. Kit. I feel like in a supercharger, you're gonna make power to get the power. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, well, I know a so. lot of guys that do run, you know, like get drive blowers. The cars are fast as shit. Oh yeah, yeah. But they're they, I think they're a lot more expensive on yeah. a budget orientated, like we did the first time. Like that VS Turbo. How much is that VS Turbo? I think I paid nine hundred dollars for it. Yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah. it was it was an eighty eight ninety six. It was the yeah. it was the, like the base. cheapest base standard, standard yeah. cover. I think someone asked me what yeah. VS Turbo was on it. Yeah. It was a uh, eighty uh, eight ninety six. So what a T six. Yeah, yeah. You know, Just T6. standard housing, no yeah. race cover, standard housing. It was nothing special. You know the the funny cars and shit? Yeah. It takes 2,500 horsepower just to turn their to blower. To turn that. <laughs> yeah, it's Isn't crazy. that fucking crazy? Yeah. That's what I mean. It's like... That's like, what I mean, like with the blowers and stuff, but... Yeah. You know, the Nova, I would love to put an LSA blower on it. Yeah. Like the from the stock, shot. you know... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stock Corvette blower yeah. on it, but that's that's already going to be like, okay, they're going to put the blower on it, then it's going to... I don't want to <laughs> see where it goes. It's a slippery yeah. fucking slope. Yeah, yeah it's going to be escalating and... Twins? Nah. No. We asked if we thought about doing twins. Uh, B more underscore Fox just writes, is he coming to Maryland to make a hit on the street? Oh <laughs> shit. B more is on. <laughs> I would love to go with those guys, man, but it, I don't know. I would love to go down that far, but it's so hard for me to go somewhere far. Right. I'm down. Right. I'm work, down. Work wise. And like, obviously, you know, if I had a huge unit to tow myself to go down there, yeah, to camp down there I and would. just sort right, right, right. You know, would you be, I wouldn't want to go down. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to want to go down there without my wife. Yeah. You know, she's got to, you know, she can't work if she, she's just going to go down there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's yeah. just tough. Would you be interested in doing World Cup finals ever? 
I don't think I'm a competitor. No, that's just that's like, like on another level, dude. That is another level. Yeah, that's, oh. like the car's got to be heavy. Like it's like the I think Super Street is like 76 millimeter turbo, and we got to weigh like 3,250 pounds. Yeah, you can't. Of, there's no the like, turbo that we run on the car. It's the, our weight would have to be like right. You'd have to. That oh, would determine okay, your see, class. We don't yeah. run an 88 in the car anymore. Yeah. yeah. Uh, KLR eight eleven. Can you buy a turbo kit for a Fox body, or do you need to make your own? Ours was fabbed up. So basically, I fabbed it up in the garage, and I actually had Wayne weld it all. Yeah, Wayne did it all. My like, first car, I bought a kit, and I'll never do that again. Yeah, it's just I bought it on three performance uh, kit, and yeah. I think it literally was like falling apart. Like the collector fell off, like cracks everywhere. Yep. And it's like at this point now, it's, it's just fab your own. Kit. Do your own, and then you have so much more maneuverability because you could put it anywhere. You where, want. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and a lot of guys, they run the factory match like truck manifolds. They work. People make fourteen, fifteen hundred with this. Yeah. Mm. They cut the, uh, the the flange off, and they put a B band on it. Or you can just buy a set of Floatec headers. They're like three hundred bucks. That's what I have in my car. That's what I got in my yeah. car too. And start with that. Yeah. Three hundred bucks. You got a tubular header. It's already got a V band with the flange at the end of it. Yeah. There you and go. It's a no just brainer. Add on to that. Yeah. No brainer. Yeah, that makes it easier. Uh, let's see. Tyler, say what? What's your two car solution? Two car solution? Two car solution. I got a three car solution right now, but if I had to eliminate one, it would just be the Civic and the One Series. It's pretty good. That One Series is nice. Got through through it. Thank you very much. If I uh, if, if I had to change things up right now, I'd like to yeah not have the Explorer and just have a truck I could tow with. That's a that's a must. Yeah. Yeah, I got rid of my gasser for a diesel. I'll never go back to a gas at the tow. Yeah, that's it. I'll get that's rid of the, I'll get rid of the race car for a Corvette. There we go. <laughs> I'm trying to that's been out. a thought. It's, 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 been, it's been crossing my mind. I'm literally trying to figure out the third right now. Good thing we only got thought two. Yeah. yeah, two car solution. Well, I'm trying to figure out the third. So. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're Civic for anything at this point. Kevin four zero one. If you could build another drag car, what would you build? A Nova. Nova. I build. I build a Chevelle. I wanted to build a oh, Chevelle before Chevelle's. I built my first Mustang. Yep. But they're just, they're just so freaking expensive. Yeah, I can only imagine now. Yeah, it is. like I'm all about. I love a seventy. The seventy Chevelle SS. That my uncle's buddy had him growing up as a kid. That's the guy that got me into racing. So badass. And I'm in love with that car. And I know where that car is. That car got sold. About 10, 12 years ago to my uncle's other friends, and he's restored the whole car. It's in primer, and he's lost interest. I've been trying to talk to him, come up with a price, come up with something, yep. try to buy that car, because I want the car. That's the car that got me into this. Yeah, yeah. And that, to me, would I'd love That'd to be know. full circle yeah. to get, yeah. And that's a real 7454 SS matching number car. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't make it a drag car. No, right, I right. Would, Just, you know, yeah, take it for what it I'd is. Take it for what it is, you know, paint the car and enjoy the shit out of that thing. Yeah. Yep. Is there a... Uh, Right now, if somebody really wanted to get into drag racing, is there a better cha- like what's the best chassis? If there's the, not even motor wise, just like here's the platform I want to start. Honestly, with. Fox Body. Fox is it is they're, they're not, still they're attainable or they're they're getting they're, very they're expensive. Getting expensive. I think yeah. that's what drove the prices up a lot. Uh, just honestly, it's that time. It's the era where the kids that had mm-hmm. them in high that yeah. wanted them in high school and didn't have them, or they, they some, yeah. maybe they had one when they were younger. Now they're established. Got kids are growing up. They got money to burn. They go and buy them. Yeah, I and see, they're I okay see, with. I see Fox bodies now selling. It's like nice Fox bodies. Yeah, twenty five, thirty five. I was gonna say it's crazy. It's we insane. talk about it often. It's insane. Yeah, yeah. like the ninety three Cobras. I've seen ninety three Cobras go for like seventy, eighty, ninety thousand dollars. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, like a, a like a Calypso green Mustang. I like got notch. You can get thirty grand for those things. Yeah, you know, it's which is clean. wild. But it's gotta yeah. be a clean car. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you know, an average car. You know, like an average. You're still paying 15, you know twelve, fifteen for it. Yeah. Yeah, if you're if you're willing to put some work in, you get a Fox for pretty cheap. But the body's like, <laughs> yeah, strut towers and strut towers are gone. Right. Yeah. right. Other than that, for another car, another drag car, but it's getting really popular and pretty affordable to get is the uh, the fourth gen Camaros. Okay. They're actually they make pretty good good race cars because they already factory fiberglass quarters, fiberglass doors. Yep. That's like yeah. the pig nose one. Yeah, yeah. It's like the, uh, the it's got like style. a snout, like, like ninety four. Yeah. I think it's a ninety four to O two. I'm seeing. Yeah. Oh, that co- that body style is yeah. nice. Is that the F body? Yes. F body. Yeah. I like the F body. You, yeah. you, you can find those pretty cheap. 
You can still find the old free yeah. look like a fucking piss missile. Guys with no prep in them, they're working. They're, guys I like the, uh, the Trans Am, the WS6s too. Those are cool. Yeah, those, yeah. Are cool those I would choose that over yeah. uh, Camaro. I love the for the F, well, F- series well, Camaro. The problem is you're gonna pay through the nose that thing. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. Because yeah. what it is, the WS6, right. you're gonna pay twenty five thousand dollars for them. Yeah, a white one of those. Ooh. Oh man. Ooh, that'd Dude, be cool. Imagine spending thirty k on a a Fox. I would if I could. Imagine spending thirty thousand dollars on a Fox that cost fifteen thousand dollars new. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. it's, and it's crazy. Slow as fuck with three hundred two. Like, yeah, you could just buy a brand new GT, uh, whatever the fuck they are, GT five hundred or whatever, it's right? Like the IROCs, like the like the third gen Camaros, like the IROC Zs and those GTAs. Mm-hmm. Those are pulling cash now. It's big yeah, money. it's crazy. So basically, the Camaros and the Mustangs of the eighties are now the sixty nine Camaros of you know the 60s. of the yeah of yeah. The it's 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 it's. It's yeah, we're seeing that transition. Uh, one other, oh, actually, one last question in the chat from Ben M. Uh, have you ever thought of doing twins instead of one big turbo? No. No? Nope. Just because? Uh, it just clutters, clutters the engine. I think it clutters the engine, it has to clutter up the engine bay and just, just asking for another problem. So, yeah, it, it just, singles work. Unless you're trying to make serious power, but you can make, you know, guys are making 2,000 with singles. Right, right. So it's I, more yeah, than enough yeah, in yeah, that form. Enough. It, just, it just simplifies stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you hurt one turbo, and now you're just down. Yeah. Well, you hurt. Yeah. Well, if you hurt the single, you're down. Also down. But it's just easy to be like, oh, I got a spare single. I don't have well, a, a pair of, twin. Yeah. Oh, the, the, plus a lot of the guys now doing the uh, the mirror turbos. So there's a left one and a right one. Yeah. yeah. So uh, if you yeah. hurt one, like you can't like. Oh, it's I not even. To, yeah. yeah. It makes it harder to replace, but it's not really a big deal. But it just, I think it's just more of a, it's a packaging thing. Yeah. Some guys, some guys are doing them. They're uh, putting them behind the shock towers and the Mustangs. They do a two behind the shot towers, so they do two smaller ones. They'll do twins that way. Yep. Just to move the weight further back for a better bias for uh, no prep. Yep. Like, no prep guys are out of control. It just... <laughs> like, the, like, the ingenuity these guys have, it yeah. blows my mind. Yeah. They got guys, now they have a rule that all the weight needs to be inside the body lines of the car. Yep. So they're taking the rear spoiler, and they're making the rear spoiler out of, like, quarter inch plate steel. <laughs> because now it's a spoiler. Holy shit, so right. So they go, yeah, it's the wing in the car. No, and that wing was like 130 pounds. Right, right. So Jesus. Because they, they're they all just, fucking Shelby Cobra, man. They're all just... <laughs> <laughs> no, the yeah. ingenuity. This, all, this oh, I'm telling you, if you go to these no preparations, the ingenuity these guys have, it just, it'll just blow your mind. Just wild. It's, yeah. yeah, it's wild. It's like, these guys should be racing guys. These guys should be building things. Right. Like space shuttles and yeah. shit. Yeah, running, <laughs> setting up the infrastructure for the Dude, rest of us. Yeah. Building submarines. Yeah. There we go. Better ones. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. yeah and on that note, <laughs> uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for thank coming you. to hang yeah, out. Thank you very much. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I wish yeah, you absolutely. wish you the best of luck moving forward the rest of the season. Yeah. I definitely want to try to get out there and watch watch it all go down and happen. Yeah. Uh, I think that'd be fun for sure. Um, and I, I even want to, at some point, try to arrange a... Uh, they have the, not test in tune, but like the Friday night thing at Epping. Yeah. yeah. I want to get a bunch of people together and just go. Yeah. Just I think go. it'd be cool. Yeah, Bring a Mustang. Yeah. Get out there. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to do it for us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much to everybody Thank in the you chat. Very much. Um, it's been a pleasure. And uh, we will see everybody next week. As always, thank you for listening. Don't forget to visit our website, revivalmotoring.com where you can subscribe to the B4B. Then you can head over to our YouTube channel where you can like, comment, and subscribe for more content. So that's going to be it. We will be back next week. Uh, Another great guest scheduled next week. Going to be a real fun time with him. So uh, we look forward to seeing you then. Thanks again, boys, for coming to hang out. Thank you. Everybody out there for the B4B, you know, keep it, keep it in the, keep it, what's it, what's it called? Keep it in the line. The hell is it called? Your groove. Keep it in the groove. Yeah, keep it in the That's groove. Keep it in the groove, you know? Keep it in the groove. Keep everything moving. So we will see you next week. Thank you very much. Peace.